Um, I think it's... I'm much more of a fan of the Milestone one myself, but, I mean, yeah. But you can play with XP. Milestone definitely seems a little more fun, you get you can get rewarded for role play in that way, you know. Oh, I'm going for a minute. I'm so sure that it's not working. That actually looks quite interesting. I'm going for a minute. No, no. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you're Chinese. Not Chinese. Uh, yeah. Everyone but Rose. Oh, I thought we were still waiting for someone. Um. Okay, yeah, I'm ready when you guys are. Yeah, what's that? Second, this is. Oh, okay. Conceivably, you could take out two Tarasks with a level one character, depending on starting equipment. It would have to be like a min max character to like the end of the world. Yeah, well, basically, um, you would be a fighter, and then you would either pick variant human or custom lineage in order to be able to take a feat. As a feat, you would take mobile, giving you a speed of 40 feet so the Tarasque can never catch you. <laughs> You'd use a longbow, and then you would need to have enough arrows to be able to take it down. Which would take a really, 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 really long time. And you'd actually but have it to be is feasible. feasible as well. Uh, well, you hit with crits. Yeah. So you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to hit a Tarasca level one, but you'd be relying on that five percent crit. Um, is everyone ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm ready. Do we want a recap or do we just want to get straight into it? Um, I don't mind. If people want a recap, that's good for me. Otherwise, I'm not too worried. I think we can pretty much remember what happened last week. Ellen was getting picked on because she sees dollies. <laughs> uh, do we just want to start then? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, so just after the fight, um, the door has uh, clicked open, and you've been able to open it openly with us. Brings us to where we are now. Uh, what's everyone doing then? Are we gonna have a long rest here as we think it was night time by the time we got here, wasn't it? It's dark. Oh. Do you want to try and get a long rest or a short rest? That'd be a short rest for me, but... Does the parcel have a, a, a delivery address on it? Uh, you can check it. Can we check that? Whoever's got it. I believe Rebus has it. Yeah, I thought Rebus had it. Uh, Rebus? 
Yeah. If you send a message, I think they're asking yeah, you to send a package. Oh, sorry. I was talking. You obviously didn't hear me. Um, uh, sorry. That's okay. That's cool. I might have. I might have forgotten to push the push to talk for once. Um, yes, sure. Uh, it's in my bag. I passed it to uh, Warren to check. Well, gone at the moment. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Investigation. Yeah. Yeah, but that's good there. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, you you there. could just read it. <laughs> are you? Well, I don't. Checking oh, the box, for... or are you yeah. opening it up? No, I, 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 I want to check it, see if there was an address on it, or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, if yeah, you don't have it, you don't have it. <laughs> it's 35, got a 7. Um, yeah, that is a lot better than 70, I couldn't find 70. And 23, uh, you didn't need to roll. I was waiting for the background noise to stop. Um, yeah, oh, that's fine. I rolled 20, anyway. 23 is good. Uh, it is... <laughs> The address on it is the shrouded cabin, um, but there is no like actual address. It just says the shrouded cabin, um, main path on the left. That's pretty much what it says. All right, so shrouded cabin, main path on the left. What's this? Is this a shrouded looking cabin? Dark outside. It's true. I mean, do we feel comfortable leaving something here without a recipient? I mean, you guys aren't do you not feel like so, if we get paid in the quiet, end. Sorry. I was just asking if you guys uh, are trying well, to be quiet or not. Uh, I'm not just... trying to be quiet. I'm just talking. Just talking. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to be loud. I'm not shouting or anything. But yeah, just yeah, we we we've, we've killed a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm just chatting. Um, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, do we? How do we feel about that? I mean, I, I very much took the assumption that we would be handing this package to somebody rather than just dumping it in a cavern and then walking away. I mean, we don't really know if this is the right way. He did say it was a certain few miles out, I'm pretty sure. But... Well, um, I mean, we could always travel a few more miles. I mean, we still have that haunted mansion like a f like five more miles ahead. So yeah. Could, if keep hold of it in case we see another cabin. Yeah. Yeah, we could do. I mean, we can always drop it off here uh, if we don't find anything else. As I say, I I don't like the idea of just dumping a box down and that being that. Um, particularly not when there's some weird creatures and undead things sprouting out of the ground and and whatnot. I mean, that doesn't really yeah. fill me with huge amount of confidence to just leave it here. No, I don't think it's a good idea to just leave a package in an empty cabin, cabin, empty. cabin like this. I think maybe we've gone to the wrong cabin. Okay, maybe, perhaps. But as we still got uh, the haunted mansion, we can just go and there, we, do that, check on the way. And we still have no idea who it was that actually lived here. I mean, doesn't matter. They're dead. Well, possibly not. Maybe they've gone. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Everything seemed to suggest that if people did leave here, they left in a very, very big hoggery. Or possibly it's these various undead dead people. Maybe they were just caught off guard. But who knows? It's relatively safe at the minute. We could, and it's a bit dark out. We could, um, have a bit of a rest and carry on. Why, why don't we, why don't we take a rest while we're here? It's dark outside, so we can't see nothing anyway. I, I can see. In. Well, we can, but you know what I mean. It's dark. Nobody's you know, actually well being outside. Sleep. Uh, Zilly is. Zilly is. Zilly's outside with some of her wolves. Okay. You uh, I think Reeves was outside. Uh, uh, door's open. I haven't gone outside. Elwyn's going to walk to the bedroom. 
Um, I don't know if those are things on the bed there. They're supposed uh, to be no. there, or whether there's not. No, they're not. Oh, right, okay. So I'm just going to come and search and see what was there, but. I mean, I don't personally need to take a rest yet. I haven't, I haven't done anything. I'm okay for a short rest. I don't need a long rest. If we need, if people need a short rest, I don't mind that. Otherwise, I'm okay. I can just use a healing potion. I can just keep going. I, um, I can do with a short rest. That would give me back to monthly. Zilly, do you reckon your uh, wolves might be able to get any sense of tracks or something if anything was maybe here and then moved away? They could be able to if they investigate. They have very good smell. Can I check the bedroom for some sort of identification of who lived here? Uh, you can try it for me, investigation. I will remind you guys, the cabin smells very strongly of copper. It shouldn't smell of copper if we did just kill a bunch of people here. And they were all massacred as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's a waste of time. Um, there's a muddy boot print on the floor next to the bed. That's about what you find, though. If it isn't mud. You say smell it in case it isn't mud. Yep. There's not really much I can do with a footprint. Mm -hmm. Well, um... I think the idea is either we just. We could just. Leave. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll just have a quick look on this table here. Is there any photos of people or pictures of people in the room? Nope. Okay. Want me investigation please on? Um, on the table, you notice that this stuff is like, a lot of it looks like it's pretty much just been taken out of the packet. Um, there's a few, like, books and stuff, but they're like completely untouched. And, um, pens and stuff. They're also completely untouched, and there's a few things that are still sealed, like a, a, a an inkwell, which still has like a cap on it that doesn't appear to have been taken off at all. And they all have a very thin layer of dust on them. What are the books? They're just like uh, they just books. I am going to steal that. <laughs> I'm going to take it. Like the inkwell and such. Oh, I've already got two. So what was it? It was a, a sealed inkwell. Ink pens or yeah. How many was there? Three. Huh. I'm taking all those. And a book. There were two books. What's that going to count as then? Books. Book? book? <laughs> oh, there is just straight up a book. <laughs> you might want to like custom mark them just to say that they're just full of plain paper, like a sketchbook sort of thing. Yeah. Um, hmm. Nothing else there? No personal effects other than just empty stuff? No. Fair enough. Nothing that, that would seem to have any personal attachment to anyone. Doesn't seem like there's anything in and around here. Just half sealed, empty stuff. Like someone was just moving in or just moving out, resting. Uh, 
how um, how is everyone feeling? Do you want to? Does everyone good to travel, or should we get some food in us? What are we feeling? How's Zilly doing? Much? Zilly's talking to her wolves, like looking them over and everything after the fight, <laughs> listening to what your guys are saying. Does she look bloodied or like she's been injured at all, or does she look all well? I don't think so. She has a bunch of spell slots left and looking pretty strong, about half health, just above. Okay. Uh. I don't mind. As I said, I'm happy to keep going. If people really want to take a, a quick breather, I guess we could sit down for an hour. Uh, it um, seems a shame because we've got these wonderful uh, creatures to help spot things for us if we're going to keep going, so they could kind of act as a sort of uh, front line, I guess, to kind of make sure that nothing else happens. Yeah. How long do they last? How long will we go? I think they last like an hour. I can re yeah, summon them again if we want to rest. Nah, I don't want to. That might be a waste of a slot. Or ability or whatever it's using. Yeah, duration is concentration for one hour. Yeah. Can I. Because I think the only person that seemed to need one was Elwyn. Can I check her over and see how she's doing? Uh, yeah, Owen, could you, could you actually make me another um, con save, please? And could you roll a medical for me, please, Swan? Okay. Uh, Elwyn, you get one point of exhaustion. I was waiting for that. And I got a crit. Yeah. Nat 20, even. The medicine check. Um, even though I've taken a short rest? Even though you've taken a short rest? It's only so long you can go for without taking a long rest. Yeah, yeah. I've seen how many you get. Uh, Wallen. Um, she's got a few scratches and stuff. Um, seems like she would hold up fine. Um, I don't know about spell slots. I wouldn't count that as medical anyway. Um, but you I can tell you can tell that she's quite exhausted, probably from not having slept for a couple of days now. Mm. Okay. So a healing potion won't do nothing to help. Uh, we've got any spells that we can. Really? Um, right, I'm gonna approach, uh, come up to Zilly, and I'm gonna ask her, Zilly, do you know any spells that might help someone feel a bit better but not healing let me think I don't think so all of them heal uh, their physical being nothing for Mental yeah. health or anything that stops them sleeping. Nothing for stamina or anything. Um, that uh, sounds like quite a powerful magic. Yeah. We could carry on, and if we need to, we can just, I don't know, carry her or something. <laughs> Sure. Buffer in your backpack or something? 
Uh, there's not really any room in the backpack. I've got the box. You do have the box. Um, but you know, like, you've got a backpack. Pick your head up. Cargo. What about... Just keep the pocket open or something. That little reed in there for it to breathe through. What about that healer <laughs> when we first got here uh, on that boat? Healer on a boat? After the boat. We went on that really big boat on the magical ride that took us through space. Then we came onto a sandy place, and there was sand and many houses, and a really fancy healing place. We went there and they healed us up. Oh. Um, we could go back. clerical cove. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a bit of a trek from here. But... Yeah, I mean, we could, um... That we could possibly go there. back to, um, to Carl. I guess uh, maybe we should uh, finish off the the um, the haunted area and drop off this box, and then on the way back we can uh, he he keep going and then head there. But that sounds like a good idea, actually. I like that, Zilly. That's that's good thinking. That is, I'd forgotten about that place. So would I, even though I've got no idea. <laughs> oh, I got notes on Did it. You forget it. It was fun. It was really fun there. Yeah, we got to a... bounce around the rules. Yeah, he was a strange one, Carl. So we have the mind to just carry on off the road as best we can. Make use of the rules as best we can. Um, that would be my vote. I'm happy to be convinced otherwise. I'm too tired to argue. Whatever. I'll just follow you guys. I haven't actually got that one on my map. Oh, you moved your token. <laughs> Sat in a chair. We could um, just walk a couple more miles and then take a rest. Um, L1. Uh, would you notice? Nah, you haven't really decided. Never mind. Okay. So you guys are continuing on? I think so, if that's agreeable for everyone. Yeah, it might be good to just get away from this cabin in particular. Seems like it's not the best. Cool. All right then. Well, let's uh, let's go. Um, hopefully, these wee wolvies can uh, help us a wee bit and maybe keep a a nose out, I guess. And uh, yeah, let's um, keep heading north and see if we can potentially find another cavern. And if not, then I guess we'll get to the haunting place and we can deal with that one and start back. <laughs> I'll put it somewhere that's not in your way. <laughs> okay, Just before we leave, should we, like, cut the heads off of these bodies and throw them in the fire or something? Why would we do that? Well, I mean, I weren't these people like... undead, so I'm just thinking, like, maybe they could reanimate somehow. I mean, you're the, you're the mage man, so... Can they just reanimate again and again, or does killing them once do it? Um... <laughs> we don't know that. The mage man is unsure, because he's not a necromancer. <laughs> okay. 
I appreciate uh, your honesty then. Um, well, they showed as I up with, the, with that other one, and Rose killed that other one, and then it went quiet. So I would assume we're good. Okay. No problem then. Then yeah, you're leaving the cabin. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yes, please. Yep. Okay. What is that noise? Or uh, what did you? I noticed that you were doodling. Was that like an actual um, underground area, or was that just doodles? Wait, how Because there was like a little uh, trapdoor okay. thing. Oh, that. Um, no, not if you found anything. No. <laughs> You found some things, but nothing, uh, nothing else. Okay, cool. Um, what is that noise there? Sounds like a... I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, as soon as you leave, um, sort of the wooded area around the cabin, uh, it seems the sun kind of comes out, and it seems to be, like, the middle of the day again. As you head huh. back onto the main road. Much better. And you guys wanted to rest. You thought it would be night time. It was kind of unusual that it was uh, shrouded in darkness. Yeah, but it happened when we went in, didn't it? That wasn't. It was. It was late initially. That was all that that quick bugger's fault. I warrant. Yeah, probably safe to assume. Maybe. Quick question to the group at large. Has anyone ever dealt with ghosts? I ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh, can't say I don't remember. Um, not exactly. Can I ask, what exactly is a ghost? I haven't heard of them with the wolves before. Are they scary? Sometimes. Depends what you define as scary. Mm. Something that can hurt me or my friends. Yes, they're scary. Then absolutely yes. Oh. Don't worry, it'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? You just had to go and say it, didn't you? <laughs> uh, you guys heading up the road then? Yeah, we're heading uh, yeah, I th we we were heading north before, weren't we? You were heading yeah, I thought west. You were heading west. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah west. Side. It's just north but, uh, of the road because otherwise I yeah. have to change everything. Yeah. No, that's super. That's fine. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, what's everyone's <coughs> passive? I feel like I ask this every session, but investigation or what? Passive what? Perception. Perception. I'm gonna stay quiet because I'm pretty sure everyone's higher than mine. <laughs> thirteen. Did I Silly? hear thirteen, fifteen, fifteen, and then nothing because it's too low? Uh, fourteen. Yeah. No, it's got higher than fifteen. I don't think. Yeah. The okay. druids only got fourteen on your perception. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, anybody keeping an eye out? Go in the car. Um, um. Generally, I guess, yeah. But not. You're not actively looking around. The no, just like constantly, yeah, right. just skittishly look around anyway, just as a weary thing. Okay. Sorry, what were you saying, Zilly? Uh, 
the uh, four walls will be looking around. The three at the front will be tracking, and the four at the back will be guarding for an hour. I don't think they'd be interested in it. So they wouldn't see us. Uh, Elwyn would probably be looking around as well. She would be tired, but she'd still be uh, wary. Um, if everyone who would be kind of keeping an eye out as you're walking along could roll me a perception check, please. Oh, okay. Okay, um... You got a roll again, by the way, Owen. You got, uh, exhaustion, so you got a roll twice. Oh, yeah. Good to remember. <laughs> wow, look at that! Consistent! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elwyn and Ron, you notice that there's, like, a small, uh, rock just kind of floating just off of the path. Um, it's about five feet up off the ground. Okay, well, Curiosity would definitely get the better of Elwyn, and she would walk up to it and look a bit closer. I'm going to detect magic first, then I'm going to walk up to her. Uh, uh, she's not that clever. You're going to detect magic? Uh, there is no magic. There is. So Elwyn is just kind of sort of looking round and waving a hand underneath to see if there's anything keeping it up and sort of investigating what is this rock? But she hasn't touched it. It is a it's not magical. It's a perfectly round rock, uh, or stone, I guess. Um, uh, stone. About the size of a ping pong ball. And it is stone just... Stone sphere? Just float, yeah, like a stone sphere about the size of a ping pong ball and it's just floating in mid-air there doesn't seem to be anything attached to it yeah okay El, unless anyone else is going or wants to Elwyn is going to try and cup it in her hand to see if yeah. there's any weight to it not learning from our previous encounter she's no, just going to grab it no she hasn't learned yeah she's just going to grab it deck save as it casts fireball on you no <laughs> yeah. um are you trying to move it at all? Or are you uh, just putting your hand underneath it? It's not just sort of like, like you would stuff and raise your hand, sort of in, like place an egg in your hand sort of thing, not really grasping it, but just see if it's being held in place or can be moved. So like you're lightly pushing up on it, basically? Yeah. Um, as you do, it feels quite heavy, almost like it's trying to pull back to its original point. Okay, well I let it do that. As you I move your hand, it, it bounces back and kind of back and forth a bit before stopping into its original spot. Yeah, what do you think of that one? Weird. I'm going to grab it <laughs> and then let go of it, but not so it's facing Elwyn, but also it's facing <laughs> off into the trees. Uh, how it's far away do you pull it? Uh, let's say five foot. <laughs> Want me a strength save, please? A strength check, sorry. Athletics. Not five foot, then. Uh, as you pull it, you get it to about two foot uh, before the, the pull starts to become so strong that your arm's actually getting pulled back with it. <laughs> Weird. Hey, <laughs> yeah. You're strong. That is true, okay. I am very strong. Come check this out. It's a rock. A flying rock, and you have to be strong to move it. <laughs> okay. Where do you want to move it to? Ah, uh, just to pick a direction. Alright, uh, I'm going to pull the rock that way. Uh, I'm going to stand out of his way. <laughs> Too late, I've already moved. <laughs> <laughs> Athletics, please. Yeah. Uh, okay, 
you manage to get to about here before the rock is pulling so hard that you can barely even move it anymore. So only about 10 feet away. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it definitely wants to stay in its place. Can I do an arcana check on it? Do you release it or do you slowly... Uh, I'm going to move back, let go, and then move away. Okay. Then kind of jolts a little bit and then goes back into the decision spot. You want to do arcana on it? Yep. I did arcana. just do detect magic on it. Yeah. Don't forget, you I got the disadvantage. I just, I just have a feeling. Go for it. About it. Um, yep. Um, probably just a normal rock, you know. Just one you yep. find on the beach. Can I do an arcana check then? Yeah. Velvet has a feeling. No, no feeling. She just thinks it's an all lock. Um, this it's just a flat rock. Definitely isn't a normal rock. However, it's also definitely not magical. How bizarre! Is, it's is not it magical, those, is and it? it's not a rock. How high above the ground is it? Sorry. Five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Sorry, someone might have already asked. Us. Yeah. Um. Can I pull my rapier and see if anything happens to the metal rapier touching the rock? Are you going to touch your metal rapier to the rock? Yep. Okay. Um. As you do so, it suddenly gets like stuck getting pulled extremely strongly towards it. Could you roll me a strength save, please? Ooh, that's not good. Definitely not good. Uh, you lose your grip on your rapier as it kind of gets pulled into the rock and it very quickly seems to just thump and get crushed down instantly and just become a part of the rock. So much so that you yeah. can't even see it anymore. Bye bye rapier. Bye bye. <laughs> Um, oh well, I wasn't expecting it to do that, but I think I think it has something called um, magnetism. It attracts metal. Is that a thing that's known within the universe? Um, I'd say it's probably known about, but not a lot of lot is known about it. I have. A plan. Okay. I'm going to step back because I don't want to be the air magnetized thing. No, it's fine. I've got a plan. Um, I'm going to reach into my uh, pants of holding and I'm going um, to pull out gum. Uh, I was just going to say, Ron, could you want me a history check for the magnetism check, please? Uh, go on, Weavers. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pull a wooden stake out of my trousers okay. ladies and um i'm gonna push it against the 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 stone to see if anything happens Want me a strength save please uh warren you would know that magnetism is commonly thought to be magical it's not something that people believe to be um to believe to be associated with anything natural. It's anomalous. <laughs> uh, Reva, so that is... Uh, I still think it. The 16. Uh, you can feel the stakes start getting pulled really strong into this thing, but you're able to kind of wrench it back out before it can get pulled into it. Okay. Uh, well, it's definitely not just metal, because that, that was... Yeah, that was that. My steak wanted to go into it, so. Um, yeah, that's unusual. I wonder what else we can throw into it. Hey Zilly, you got any uh, body parts that you don't like? Not that I don't like. What's your least favorite body part? In your bag, not attached. 
My least favorite body part that isn't attached to myself. Hmm. Well, I want to keep the half burnt torso, but it is half burnt. It's full burnt. <laughs> you could, um... Can I borrow it for a second? <laughs> it's a full burnt half of a torso. <laughs> Rebus is going to wander over into this corner, but he is going to shout back, Borrow implies that you're returning it. Uh, I, will get you an, I will replace it with a non-burnt one. Okay, if you'll give me a non-burnt one, that'd be great, because Rebus said he was going to show me something on this one, but then he didn't. Are you re-gifting? Yes. <laughs> Wow. Temporarily. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that burnt torso and chuck it onto the rock. Or, like, touch it against the rock. See what happens. Uh, as you touch it against the rock, nothing happens. Nothing at all. Nothing, except from, you know, the rock move slightly. Uh, okay. Oh, I'll just give it back then to Zilly. Here you go, Zilly. <laughs> I'll Thank still you. get you. I'll still get you a new one, but. Thank you. And Zoe packs it back into her still overstuffed bag. Well, it doesn't work on flesh, whatever this is, but it loves wood and metal apparently. Are there um, are there any trees or large bushes or anything over here, in, yeah. in this sort of area? Uh, it's right on the edge of the forest as well. Cool. Um. I would like to try and pull down perhaps a small tree, like a like you know, like a, a medium-sized sapling or something. See if I can kind of uproot it. <laughs> yeah, while we an athletic strike, please. Just casually pulling down a tree. Um, there's a small kind of like fern in the ground that you struggle to pull up for a second, but you do manage to get it up. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to bring that back and I'm going to throw it at the um, at the, the the stone. Okay. The moment it touches the stone, it instantly just whoop, and gets sucked in. Gone instantly. Ah, this is fun. Let's go get some more stuff. Uh, <laughs> can I make something out of Material. I don't know. I want to make. A, I want to make a dummy. Like a, like a doll. No, like a a a, a, a dummy for a baby. Oh, oh a pacifier. Uh, that's it. Y y yeah, you can try. What are you making it out of? Yeah, what are you making it out of? Uh, well, there's stones in the road. I'm sure there's wood about. Uh, just whatever I can get my hands on, I guess. Anything that looks like it could be craftable, I guess. Um, don't, don't have kids, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's stones and some wood. There must be a pacifier somewhere in this. <laughs> That's, That's even deep funnier, deep. considering. <laughs> That's deeply worrying. That's even funnier considering I got one on the way. <laughs> there is the first male pregnancy. Miracle of science. <laughs> oh dear. Follow me uh, investigation check. To see if you can find resources. Um, nope. <laughs> no. There's like rocks and stuff, but definitely nothing that could be crafted. <laughs> ah well, my thought was: Has anyone seen that uh, treehouse of horror Simpsons with the black hole? No. no. Maybe. There is one thing we've not actually tried yet. Do it. Uh, Elwin's going to back up fifteen feet from the from the set. From the spear and fire an arrow at it. Uh, could you roll to hit, please? 
Ooh, I could try. I won't be happy if you hit me. <laughs> 20 that, to hit. That definitely hits. Um, the second this arrow hits into it, it just like seems to just phase into it, and it's gone instantly. Man. I have an idea. What's your idea? Silly's gonna uh, point her hand towards the rock and get ready to cast Produce Flame on it and try and attack it with magic. <laughs> I'm gonna take a step back. <laughs> okay. Uh, could you post Produce Flame for me? Yep, no problem. Plus 7 to hit 2d8. Um... Okay, make a ranged spell attack, please. Okay, so, yep. Da, da, da. Whilst this is going on, Revis is trying to find some other trees to uproot. Okay. That does hit it. Uh, roll me damage as you try and blast this flame at it, but it seems to, like, spin all the way around and gets thrown back at you. <laughs> to to oh, you no. for 10 fire damage as you kind of catch fire. <laughs> No, that's hot! That's hot! It hurts! <laughs> uh, yes, it's really on fire. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna expend the spell slot and cast Identify. Okay. Um... Um... This is a rock. You learn that it's a rock. There's no magic on it. I mean, you did already check that twice with like arcana checks and detect magic. Yep, we did. We're kind of. Was I found created? another tree. Was it created by a spell? Nope. Uh, Revis, you've managed to get another tree by this point. This one's slightly awesome. bigger than the fern. Cool. Uh, I'm going to bring that over and I'm going to throw that at it as well. The second it touches it, just and it's gone. <laughs> I like this. Uh, sorry, what are we doing? I'm going to... Should we get more stuff to throw at it? Should we put it in our bags of holding? Elwin's going to kind of throw herself at it. Cause I don't have a bag of holding. Something new. Target pants of holding. You're throwing yourself at it. Yep, yeah, we're going to jump on it. Um, you're wearing armor, right? Uh, you won't be. You were. <laughs> I were. Once upon a time. Uh, the moment you, your body, where your armor is, touches it, your armor instantly just gets ripped off of you. Could you make me a strength save, please? Um, uh, Naked elves, Warren. Uh, my armor is leather. I'm good. Yeah. All strength yours, save. Strength save, please, yeah. Oof. Okay. Ah, uh, you'll take half damage. Um, as you as your armor touches it, the armor seems to like suddenly get instantly ripped off of your body, kind of pulling you forward a bit as it um deals a little bit of bludgeon damage to you. Uh, Does that include take... her clothes? <laughs> uh, just the armor. That's all that touched it. So full bludgeon damage. Uh, but you do oh, not have armor, armor anymore. Oh, bye bye. Oh well. Anything else you want to throw at it? Maybe your magical bow. Maybe uh, whatever, whatever else you have. No. It's a nice got... blouse you got there. You should throw that at it, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Rose isn't here just yet. <laughs> She's gonna give you a curt look up and down and sly smile. <laughs> I could throw a bean at it. And she's bored. She's gonna walk away. Silly so to herself because, uh, yeah, I'm not looking too great. So, yeah. second level. Let me know. Okay. 
I am tempted to try and stuff it in my pocket, but I feel like that would be a terrible idea. Um, I mean, even if you did stuff it into your pocket, like, you can't move from this spot, so... Well, it'd be in an extra-dimensional plane as well. Well, that's true, but maybe it wouldn't want to move from there either. If it doesn't instantaneously explode. I mean, it wouldn't just explode it to a rock. I mean, it's sucking shit in. I don't think we should expose it to the astral plane. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can learn from this. I think we should just carry on. Be interesting. I'm kind of fascinated to know where the things are going. Like those two trees I put in it. <laughs> There's behind your ear! <laughs> oh, that's a great magic trick. I love that one. <laughs> um, Alright then. So we're, we're done with the rock then. I mean... Yeah. I this could be I'm handy if, if we ever have like something that we don't want. And we need to dispose of it, we could put it in, in, in the rock. It doesn't seem to extend the bodies though, so, you know. No, but maybe there's like, I don't know, like a cursed item or something that... Maybe there's like, like someone has something and like, we got it, but they're like trying to get it back off of us. And so we can then threaten to just get rid of it forever by throwing it at a pebble. Yeah. I love that thought. <laughs> I have some holy water, I could pour that on it, but I feel like that's probably a waste. It doesn't feel like it's a particularly unholy pebble. Hey, actually, hey, thought. Maybe there's a ghost holding it up and they're like really, really, really strong. So it could be the first indication of like this haunted area. Oh, we, we, we would soon find out once we figure out uh, it'll put a stop to the haunting. Okay. I guess let's carry on. You don't think like a cabin could get sucked into a pebble? I think it could, but I think we'd have to physically take it apart and put it on the thing. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just thinking, like, because it's on that side of the of the rock of the the road. So I was just thinking, like, maybe that could be the cabin, but it's not because of the. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that train of thought. Ignore me. It would be a funny prank to pull on someone. <laughs> well, hiding out. hiding someone's house behind a pebble, that's a hell of a trick. They just go out, come back, and the house is gone, and just a pebble there, that would be fine. Uh, yeah, that's true. Shall we press on, ladies and gents? Uh, yes, let's. Okay. Uh, it takes about another hour to get um, to what appears to be your destination. Um, there's a few, there's like a, um, there is a road along the way that seems to turn off and go uh, left. Um, but the way you need to go is straight. Um, and after a little while you end up at these ruins. Um, they have kind of like a, a, a small amount of uh, foggy mist covering the bottom. Um, you're not supposed to be able to see this, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Um, you guys come from here. Um, as you are walking along, the path that you're following does slowly turn into kind of stones. This is a crazy good map. Just gonna yeah. say that one right now. It's pretty yeah. cool. I didn't make it. <laughs> oh, well, it's still oh, crazy good. <laughs> That's why it's so good, because I didn't make it. No, I don't think yeah, so. I've, I've, so. I've, 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 yeah. Yeah, you, you've made some pretty awesome maps too. I was just saying this one's um, 
Yeah. Very good. Okay. Um, you all have this kind of like, you know, that kind of uneasy feeling you have like in the pit of your stomach when something doesn't quite feel right. You, you all have yep. that sort of feeling. And just remember, you can't see inside any of these buildings except um, probably the ones with like, holes in them, like this. I don't like it here. No one's going to come up to Zilli and just put a hand on her shoulder. There, there, it's, it's okay. How long did it take us to get here? Uh, about an hour, so it's about... Oh, okay, yeah, so puppies have gone. Cool. Uh, all right, then. Um, well. Um, do we think this might be the haunted place, or is this just another village to pass through? It's probably haunted. I don't have a good feeling about this area. <laughs> um, what's your passive perception you going to be? I don't think it was that low. Ah, <laughs> uh, twelve. Lower uh, than everybody else's. <laughs> yeah, you could. You probably would have been able to tell that um, the. Uh, floor, the, some of the buildings are like kind of destroyed. Before we move up, can we move back for a second? Yeah, of course we can. I'm quickly Ooh, making, sorry. Quickly making a, a token. I should have. Yeah, yeah, there. take time, take time. Shockingly, Rebus is is not the character with the lowest perception that I have. It's the lowest on mouth, by any chance. <laughs> I don't. I think I've got one that's lower than mine as well. No, uh, no, Vane. Vane's is nine. Oh, fuck an egg. Ooh, that is low. Well, you know, he's a wizard, so intellect, not no wisdom. Yeah, see, he's got the same amount of perception as Kronk has. Okay, um, as you guys are walking kind of into this area, you can hear some kind of rustling from one of the bushes up ahead, and you see um, a slight figure moving around in it. Oh, could be a raccoon. Um, I think just as a kind of reflex, um, Revis would... Um, pull out his longbow and just kind of notch an arrow and have it ready. Did anyone else see that movement? Fireball! Hey, that could be three rations. Should we yeah, cheat? Yeah. Elwyn's gonna walk up and call out. Hello. Uh, the moment you say something, kind of like a, a sh what looks like a sheet runs out and kind of like runs towards you and runs in a circle before going into these ones here. <laughs> kind of like screaming like, "Woo!" as it goes. Uh, did you guys see a, a sheet? <laughs> well, that was surprising. They run out again. Woo! Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Who here knows uh, most bad ghosts? Um, I mean, I can shoot it if you want. I don't yeah, think I could... it's much of a threat. I think it could be someone in a bed sheet. It certainly looks that way. I think yeah, I my um my shadow knows a lot about ghosts, but he's not that chatty. He's kind of one That's himself, I suppose. Live at once. <laughs> We're not going like anywhere. <laughs> what if we don't leave? No. Push. Bet. 
say, Revis, I'll go in one way, you go in the other way. Let's grab it. Sure. All right. Top or bottom? I'm definitely a bottom man. I'm going to the top. She's going to walk up to this here. Ooh, back away! Or die! I mean, if it's a ghost, it should just phase through all, right? Well, yes, it should do. Um, Reavers, are you ready? Should we grab him? Um, yeah, sure. I'm gonna stow my bow over my shoulder, so I've got my hands free. Ooh, back up! Uh, <laughs> And she's gonna make to grab him, or her, whatever it is. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Could we roll? Um, you guys are gonna try and grab it. Could you roll me acrobatics, please, to see if you can keep, if you can catch it to begin with? I think I do. Uh, but you have to roll with disadvantage because you're exhausted. Oh, yes, Sorry. I do. You're right. The downside of one. the crits. Sorry. Uh, oh, bloody up. hell. Uh, you managed to catch up to it. Um, as <laughs> he then starts trying to run away from you, guys. Woo, back away! Why don't we get dice rolls like that on Sundays? <laughs> uh, and if you're going to try and grab them, you need to make an athletics check. I fall on my face. Uh, you try and grab them, but they very easily just like move away from you as they're kind of going, whoo, and they they kind of step by this hole and kind of slip through it. <laughs> woo -hoo. Kind of climbing over some of the level. Damn it! <laughs> I I'm gonna try and route. I want to try and head it off. Hit what off? No, head it off. So like get ahead of it then. Oh wait. Right. <laughs> uh yeah, as you kind of like turn this corner up here, it looks like it's kind of looking behind you as it's run uh, behind it as it's running. And it looks like it's about to run straight into you. I wanna close line it, if you know what I mean by that. Yep. Roll me an athletic check. Damn it. <laughs> uh you collide with each other. Uh he manages to stay up, but you get knocked to the ground. <laughs> uh, a bit more solid than like for a ghost. Can, uh, as he goes past, as he goes past, can I grab the sheet like a quarter of the sheet? Uh, roll me a slight like hand. Yeah. It's better, but not like it. <laughs> you you try to, but as you do that, it kind of like moves and knees your hand. Like it seems like he knees your hand. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's a bit sore for a ghost. <laughs> what, what, what will happen? <laughs> I have shocking on my bow, don't I? Or lightning? <laughs> <laughs> you, you do have lightning, lightning damage, yeah. Can I aim at the sheet? So uh, the little shock lightning goes through it? The moment you aim at him, it goes... Ooh, leave! And he quickly like pulls open this door and runs inside, closing it behind him. <laughs> oh, I'm not having that. Since when did ghosts use doors? <laughs> uh, Revis is gonna try and. There's no windows. Grab by the way. Sorry. It's a door though, here, isn't it? No, no, no. It is just that one way in. Okay. Uh, yes, um, you could try and open the door. Yeah, I'm gonna try and grab the door handle and open it. Uh, it's locked. Pick it. Yeah, no, I know exactly how to pick it, and I'm just gonna kick it in. Okay. You're gonna tape the door. <laughs> uh, well, athletics, please. You get that one as well. This worked really well the last time I did this, so I feel confident. I feel less confident. Uh, it is Ooh, enough. Good. Um, as you kick at the door, it kind of like kicks forward, um, but it doesn't come off its hinges as it slides through. And you see, kind of like, I just like um, the sheet, the sheet, turn, like turn and just look at you after doing something on the counter. 
Oh, don't do it on the counter, man. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right. chopping some bread or something. Alright. Well, now. Leave at once! As he starts waving his hands at you. Or, oh, sorry, his sheet at you. Beat his ass. Slap him. Uh, I, my friends and I have come here to get rid of ghosts. So either we have to kick your ass or we can talk to you. Which would you prefer? <laughs> it's just kind of like staring at you for a bit and then kind of just walks over to the bed and sits down. Here we go, lads. <laughs> well now. Uh, this, this room is nicely furnished and seems to have like fresh supplies in there. And, um, you know, it seems like it's been living here a little while. Ah! All the bits and pieces a ghost would need to survive. Perfect. So, Mr. Ghost. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, he kind of like, just stared at you and then takes the sheet off. And underneath you see like a scraggly, um, kind of, looks almost like a homeless guy. Um, kind of old. Um, underneath it as he kind of slowly falls the sheet up and puts it on the bed. <laughs> it's not the most convincing disguise I've ever seen, if I'm honest. Well, I'm not paid to be convincing. I'm paid to scare people off. Wow, your voice changed <laughs> drastically. <laughs> you, you've got some good vocal range there, sir. You ever thought about being a singer? You ever thought about shutting up? <laughs> All right, slow down. Now, who the devil is paying you to go around pretending to be a ghost here? The people. And which people are the people? I know. I, I got a letter placed in my in my uh, like my my, my hat because you know begging. Um. And they said, go to this place, and you'll have a bed, a warm house, supplies, and we'll give you money every week. And in return, you have to run around with... i got to scare people knife. off, yeah. Right. I, I mean, you can, do, you can get the same effect with a sword. I don't know why you chose a sheep. Well... If it's just a sword, they're just going to send guards after me, but if they think it's a ghost, you know. You'll get seasoned adventurers sent after you to purge you, yes. Much different. Didn't think about well, that. um... <laughs> You're lucky and, I um, fireball. <clears throat> How, uh, you said that uh, these guys send you money and, and food and things once a week, do they... How does that work? Do they come here and pass it over to you? Can you describe them to us? No, I just wake up and there's a box of the supplies in front of my door. I see. I think I just lost everyone. Hello? Hello? Um, hello? Hello? What happened there? Hey, I, lost, I lost connection on Discord. <laughs> ah, no worries. It's alright. Um, okay. I didn't hear what you said. Uh, I said, uh, we're from the city council to do an inspection, uh, and we would like to get on with that for that one. No! Nah. City council, who I'm supposed to scare away? Well, we're here now, so, you know. No, you need to leave. I'll get in trouble. Are you going to make us? Now, now, we don't have to do this in a confrontational manner. We're just going to look around a wee bit. No, you can't look around. 
I will tie his ass up, and so we can do it in peace. Are you are you going to try and do that? Uh, maybe. Brevis is gonna kind of sigh and sort of stop leaning against the table and take a big step forward and just kind uh, of lean down next to this man. Back up. Are you gonna stop us? <laughs> he kind of just like stares at you thoughtfully. Uh, don't think I could have wanted it, but, but you know, you can't. Well, I'm going to, and you are welcome to try and stop me. Um, uh, yeah, Brevis is just going to kind of start walking out and just, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do with that as you will. Um, if you think he's going to be a pain in the arse, we can just kill him. No! Nah. Don't kill me. I'm just doing as I'm told. Yeah, oh, same here. Man. We had to get rid of the ghosts. You're a ghost. No problem. It's nothing yeah. personal. Do you have a paper that says to get rid of the ghosts? Let's say who, who said this. Is it just from the sea? Uh, uh, it, it, does, it didn't specifically say who sent you. It just said where to find the payment. Fair enough. Well, anyway, we need to look around. Um, I don't feel like this man is of a particular threat, but I'm happy to acquiesce if somebody else thinks we should just murder him to stop him from potentially being dangerous. Nah, he said he didn't have a sword, pretty much. So. He could be lying, you know. As he says, he steps out the cabin with a minigun. <laughs> oh, look, it's a tiny minigun. <laughs> What's a gun? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a full gawey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just kind of... You've just left him sitting on his bed. I think if he had any sort of weapon, I don't think he'd be running around with a sheet on his head. <laughs> he might be. I mean, I suppose it's a less confrontational way of getting rid of people, and obviously as soon as you start drawing weapons, you're kind of raising the stakes, aren't you? So... You know, maybe he's more of a thinker than a fighter. Yeah, so I'd say we're fairly safe. Well, um, I'm going to go and look around if anybody wants to see if they can maybe persuade some information out of him or if they think they can sweet talk him or something or whatever, go for it. But yeah, I'm going to go and check the next building up. And Revis is going to start moving upwards. Uh, should we wait for Rose, actually? Shall I move back a bit? Uh, we can wait for Rose, yeah. Whoop. Yeah, no, I haven't moved. <laughs> uh, while we're waiting, I'm just going to go grab a drink. Well, if anybody else... Uh, we, could take a, we could take a quick five minute. Five minute break. Yeah, sure. Um... I need to toilet it as well, so I will be back. Kill. Oh, I really, really, really like this map. Pardon me.
บายที่ใกล้แล้วไม่ทันนะเพื่อนเอ็กซ์เฟอร์คิวจ์มาที่ไหนกิตตี้ดูอะไรอย่างฉันจะพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มาแต่หนึ่งของเด็กที่อายุน้อยที่สุดก็ได้ออกไปแล้วฉันไม่ได้มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขาพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขาพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขาพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขาพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขาพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขาพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขาพยายามหาพวกเด็กที่อายุมากขึ้นแต่เขาไม่มีมันในกระดาษแต่เขา And should be quieter. I'm sorry, he was yelling. That's fine. How's your week been? Yeah, it's been all right. Nothing drastically exciting happening, but that's why we like it. Yeah, that's a normal week. And yourself? Uh, I would have been a little late to session today. I was one of the culprits of it starting later. I'm afraid. I was trying to finish up food for my mother and that. Ah, no worries. So that's about. It's quite funny as you were the first one here. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Can't jump on there. You're wearing the harness. Hello, I'm back. Welcome back. Okay. Um, we'll wait until I know if everyone else is back. Uh, you're right. All right. We're all back. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry. Elwyn's going, Oh, Rose, you're back. back. It's good to see you. Caught us up. Yeah, so. What have I missed? Oh, you no, just missed this guy running around in a sheep trying, trying to scare us. Um, He's a big softy. And Elwyn's armour being sucked off her body. Yeah, Elwyn isn't wearing armour. I've lost my rapier as well. As well. Whoa. Ellen got sucked off. <laughs> <laughs> no, just her arm. Just my arm. <laughs> my leather armor got taken into this oh, weird good, then. stone thing. Spear. Oh. Well, that's all right then. <laughs> I love how like, like. Depressed and uninterested, your voice suddenly changed to it. It's like, yeah, it got sucked <laughs> off by a pebble that was floating in the air. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's boring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right then. Oh, well, Reavers didn't seem to mind. She's going to give him a wink. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, hang on. <laughs> that's my man. Uh, Reavers is okay. So there's no ghost, then. It's just this dude with a sheep. Yep. I mean, so far, there could still be ghosts. What time is it? What sort of time of day is it? In the afternoon. Uh, yeah. Good. Good. I don't know. Maybe these ghosts only come out at night. Well, anything. this um. <clears throat> This gentleman did say that um, apparently he used to be a beggar and he um, got a wee note in his begging cap one day that said to come here for a warm bed, free meals, and uh, he gets paid each week apparently. But he doesn't know who pays him because apparently it just gets dumped here at night whilst he's asleep. Hmm. Can I have a look around to see if there's any, like, thieves' camp markings or anything that I would recognise? Roll investigation. <clears throat> no, 
Nineteen. Um. There's no these card markings, um, but you can see that um, sort of not right in front of the door, but to the side of the door is like a small indent, um, square indent in the glass, maybe where a box would be put. Maybe you guys noticed this, and I gestured to the indent in the grass. Yeah, he says he gets gold and supplies dumped in front of his house every, uh, every so often. Uh, 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 just out of curiosity, the box that we were given from Man in Town, the bunch of Man in Town, uh, does that fit in there? Or does it look like it would fit in there? Is this the place we were supposed to come to? I mean, it is up a path on the left. Yep. Have, have you showed this guy this box? See if he recognises it? Uh, we didn't even think about it. What's his name? This dude's name? Boo. Boo. What? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he, he doesn't have a name. We, had, we didn't ask. We just <laughs> him. <laughs> I think his name was Ghost One. <laughs> um, looking at this depression in the ground, um, does it look sort of shoebox size or? It looks crate sized. Oh no, that looks way too big then. No, no, no. This uh, I mean, this this box is tiny by comparison. A crate could be shoebox size. It's not shoebox size. <laughs> no, it's definitely not for that bag then. Well, if this guy says he gets this delivery every night, maybe we should hang around every then. week. Well, every week. When does he do for next? I'm gonna go up to the guy and ask him. When are you due for an ex another delivery? As you walk, in, as you walk in, he is lying like on his bed. Seems to be uh, reading a book. Um, but as you come in, he kind of as you speak, he suddenly looks up at you. Who the hell are you? While she's, While she's doing that, Elwyn's walked off to these first few houses at the top here, and it's gonna have a look in them, searching. Okay. Oh, I'm just, you know, just a delivery person. No, just they, ne they, they never visit me in person. Oh, well, you see. I wish I'd known that before I came in. I'm kind of new. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's with us. So uh, you better do as she say, because she's insane. Well, she's she's, she's trying to say she's a delivery person. She clearly isn't. I told you, she's insane. What do you want? Uh, do you do for your next delivery of supplies? He seems to just like think for a second and like starts counting on his fingers. Uh tonight actually should be. Well, so my plan stands. You hang about and see who delivers them. No, you can't. No, you gotta go. You can't be here. Shut up. Or I'll get my friend on you. Has he got any gold lying about? Just blatantly bobbing while he's watching you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to have a glance around the room to see if I could see anything shiny or whatnot. He's got about two gold pieces on his desk. But that's it. Nah, that's not worth it. What book are you reading? 
<laughs> How to get bitches like you to leave me alone? Uh, I'm gonna get a sort of bit in his face and using my um thaumaturgy <laughs> to um make my eyes glow and my voice to boom a bit and say, What did you just call me? <clears throat> All intimidation please. Do I get advantage? No. Uh, I'm 23. Okay. He, he seems to like quiver slightly as he goes. Uh, called you a uh, beach. Because. Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch your tongue if I was you, or I'll cut it off, and I storm out. Well, shall we check out the ruins then? Uh, behind you, you do hear like a clunk in um, with the door as he slams it closed behind you. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys well, checking the lock because I think Remus broke that. <laughs> You kicked it in. No, I only I only kicked it open. I didn't like smash it off its hinges or anything. No, but it was locked, wasn't it? So you kicked it open, so it would have broken the lock, right? I'm sure it's fine. So what's gonna happen? He's gonna get attacked by ghosts. It was a very carefully calculated kick designed to do the minimum amount of damage whilst allowing the ingress to the place. Everybody who's looking around, roll me an investigation, please. Ooh, I actually have some numbers on that one. Mine's still with disadvantage, right? Yep. I would my computer is flash. Uh, Elwyn, this is... Elwyn, this is a thriving town. Um, this place has got, like, just constant people around. Um, they're probably all, like gone off to like a whole village gathering somewhere and this guy was just um stay behind to keep watch or something but this place is definitely a thriving town uh Warren, this place is dead the, this place hasn't been lived in for like years um however um a few of the buildings appear to have things in them that are more up to date than others um so like an old destroyed smithy, um, an old room that looks like it might have had a couple of people camping in there, as well as up at the top as well as the same thing. Um, Rebus, this building that you're in has um, massive spider webs indicative of giant spiders. And Zilly, uh, you found a bush that has leaves, leaves on it. <laughs> oh, leaves! I like the leaves. Uh, guys, there's um, possibly some creatures in the area. There's some pretty big webs in this building. So just keep your eyes peeled. And don't forget to look up. Up? Well, if there are spiders, they could be crawling across the ceilings or roofs or the walls. So don't just assume everything's going to be at eye height. What with all these people that live around here? There's can't be that many spiders. There what people? There's like... Well, it's like one thing. guy. This place is dead, man. Well, I, I, it was quite... May I approach the bitch? Um, what did you say? I said, may I approach the bench? I mean, it's, the bench. it ah. might be, but like, we've only met one guy right. so far. We need to explore more of the buildings. Elwyn, I have a genuine question for you. I'm sorry, Rose, what was that? I have a genuine question for you. Do you need to wear glasses? Um, not that I know of. Um, I can see quite well, thank you. 
Uh, maybe you should get that checked. And I just sort of gently sort of pat her on the shoulder there and walk away. Oh, okay. I'm going to have a look at this smithy. Uh, it seems um, like it, it might have been in use at some point, but it's been kind of just run down by weather and sort of destroyed. Um, everything in it is completely unusable by this point. Nothing at all of use? Nope. Dang. Can I steal I'll Warren's steal arm and make myself a new sword? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually, you can try. You can certainly try. But, um... Uh, yeah. Won't be an athletic check. Athletics, that's a disadvantage. All of your attacks are a disadvantage. What are you on about? <laughs> cool. Um, um, I get it. You start dragging <laughs> Warren. You can start just dragging him along. <laughs> <laughs> that will do nothing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just dragging you along. Ellen, what are you doing? <laughs> that's, that's too nice. That was. Two. That's, that's unbelievable. One in four hundred, blind. <laughs> that's unbelievable luck. This is why we get bad rolls on Sundays. Yep. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> just saying that. A couple Sundays ago, we had nothing but good rolls. Yeah, but we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Last Sunday, you got to experience what a true Sunday feels like. Yeah, it's true, he did. So I'm going to put a, a foot on his chest and try and yank this arm off him. Give me your arm! I'm going to punch Elwyn square in the chest to get her off me. Roll me an unarmed strike, please. That'll be easy enough. Ooh. Yeah, that hits, I think. No, it doesn't. Why, what's your AC? I thought it was 13. 14. And I have no armor on. Interesting. You have 14 with no armor? Yeah. Uh, that would mean uh, 18 or 19 on the decks. It's because you get one point, per, one point per two on decks. So. But um, I'm more concerned that you're trying to punch a girl in the boob. Mm. <laughs> I sent you. Yes. Oh, where your hand goes. That is her chest. <laughs> <laughs> Says you. You're trying, to take, you're trying to grab my arm for some reason. <laughs> well, this thing's attached. Well, I can see that now. This one. That's uh, an interesting statue that you've noticed there, uh, Rose. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Uh, what do I notice about the statue? Uh, the statue is missing its head, but it does seem to depict um, maybe some sort of. Um, Adventurer, they're kind of in plate armor, holding a sword. What looks like a great sword on one, uh, lifting on one shoulder. But their head is completely missing, so you could have no clue who it actually is. Kind of looks like an adventurer. He's missing his head, so. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I, I agree. I think he is indeed missing his head. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of need those. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Uh, I'll, I'm going to go and have a look in the bushes to see if it's right rolled off or something. Owen's just gone and wandered off to this other little, ta little house over in the corner here. Having strayed through this other little building. Yeah, um, it looks like... Um... This is, you've accidentally broken into someone's house. Um, you probably wouldn't want to stick around here for too long. In case they come home. I'm going to check out this ruin. Oh, and Warren ran away. <laughs> I speak to Warren. <laughs> I changed my mind on where I wanted to go. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Okay>. yeah. <laughs> Well, it might be worth looking at places I've been in, because... Um, this 
where you are on. Uh, it appears to be maybe a small, used to be a small storeroom, but at this point it's been completely destroyed and ransacked. Is there a door here? Is yep. it closed? It's closed. Is it closed? Yeah. Well, she was going to walk through that door and just look in. Uh, yeah, I mean, in this room, it looks like the people have been living in here actively. They've probably just stepped out into the forest to do something real quick. They're probably going to be back any minute now. Okay, is there money on the desk on the top there? Are they being no, there's, or... it's like a deck of cards. There's no money there. Yeah. Hey, Warren. It looks like people have been living here, though, and they're going to be back soon. What do you think? Check it out. I mean, this room, Rowan, nobody's been in here for a while. All of the beds kind of rotted, their deck, their cards on the table are also kind of water uh, logged and destroyed. Um, and there's like a rusty circular thing on the table. And the uh, stove is kind of falling apart. A rusty circular thing? Can I examine that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's about the size of like a small iron coin. Uh, roll investigation. Yeah, it's a rusty iron coin. Cool. I'm gonna keep it. Okay. And like clean it up. Yeah, I was gonna skip along the path because she's happy. She thinks it's a lovely little town. I'm gonna scratch my head, like scratch my chin, and just be like, "Damn, I think Elwyn's got some serious problems." <laughs> um, Zilly, we haven't done you for a while. What are you doing? Uh, Zilly's hiding in the bushes, uh, watching for anything out of the ordinary. Also, watching to see what this guy does because I know he took it for money and somewhere to stay in that. But I don't trust him not to tell anyone that we've come and uh, found out he's not a ghost. Uh, his door is closed, so you can't see inside his house to see what he's doing. But yeah, I'm just watching the outside. <laughs> so you can't okay. imagine there's a way of contacting someone from inside a building. All right then. Elwyn's in happy la la land, she's just skipping around everywhere. Uh, Vivas. Uh, I'm gonna try the door to this building and have a little, a little pokey around the inside. As you put your hand on the door, the door kind of like creaks for a second and then just kind of falls in, like completely off its hinges. I didn't do it. <laughs> So yeah, just gonna have a little nosy around the inside. Um, guessing it um, kind of looks pretty much the same as everyone else, everywhere else, or decayed. Yeah, it, and, yeah, decayed, but it looks like at some point more recent than everything else. Um, it might have been some sort of guard outpost where guards were kept up um, to keep an eye out, but it has been kind of just left in a rush. A bunch of stuff has been destroyed, and anything valuable and the essentials have been taken. Alright then. Elwyn's just gonna sit down and lean up against this tree because life is great. Although she's tired. Rose. Yeah. You might want to keep an eye on Elwyn. I think she might have um, eaten a mushroom or two. It was a completely rotten abandoned house and she thought it was uh, lived in. Well, we all know she was a bit weird. She does play with dolls. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it's becoming less of a curse, more of a drug addiction, maybe. One or two, maybe maybe one or two uh, shrooms in her spare time. Maybe she just didn't get out much. Yeah. You know how we all had that one weird kid that lived just down the road? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
Yeah. It'll be alright. See, I always thought that was Zilly. That title belonged to Zilly, but, uh... No, no see, Zilly has an excuse. Yeah. Zilly was raised by wolves. Elwyn grew up in a city. You got me there. Where are they going for? Hi. Kicking the rocks, I guess. Only building that none of you have really uh, have n none of you have actually gone to is the building that is laying above everything else. <coughs> um, you can't quite see up the top because it's kind of steep cliffs, and it looks like the only way up is this ramp here. Cool. Uh, you doing all right there, Ellen? Oh. Yes, yes, I'm just tired. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Uh, it's been how long's it been now? You haven't slept properly. Oh, uh, days. days, three days, yeah. I think it is. Right. Well, don't you worry. We'll uh, we'll get that sorted out. Um, we'll keep an eye out for you. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm just gonna rest here for a bit. All right. Oh, uh, Rose, you're gonna keep me company. Uh... Hey, don't leave me with that. <laughs> Run away! Well, I think this is the last building to check up on, so... Um... We can go and have a wee look. Um, I'm a wee bit concerned about Owen. She looks, um, she looks a little peaky. I think uh, not having an opportunity to rest has uh, has had some had its effects on her. There, we'll have to um, definitely double time it. Maybe back to Carl's. Um, we could knock her out. No, I don't think so. Who keeps moving me? I don't know. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's role playing or if that's actual. <laughs> no, I kind of move from one square to another and then we're back again. So, what's going on? I don't know what you're I thought you were just cause... dancing about. <laughs> For me, you're just sitting in one spot. Here. Yeah, there. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. I went Ellen. from there to there, and then went back again. <laughs> but, uh, oh, she's haunted. Hey, uh, Elwyn. Yes. Do you have a weapon? Well, I have my bow. Um, I have a spare bow, uh, but my sword got sucked into some strange stone sphere, along with my armor. What kind of sword was it? Rapier. Oh. It was it was it was a pretty good one. Um, Can you use long swords? Good question. Yes, you're a fighter. You should be able to. Yes, I can use long swords. Yeah, I've got this. I pull out my small pouch, bag of holding, go arm shoulder deep into it, walk around a bit, and pull out this uh, plus one long sword. Ooh. Hey, oh, you want this? Ooh, well, if you aren't going to use it, yes, then thank you, that'd be very good. Yeah, sure, I'm not using it. Oh, thank you. And I give Elwyn my plus one longsword. Nice. 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 So, shall we um, go up and check this main building? Kind of uh, looks important the way it's kind of up on that edge, away from all the uh, the other ones, doesn't it? Yeah. You coming out win or you you want to hang back? Oh, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Has anyone seen Tilly? Oh, yes, yes, of course I have. Got... She was in a tree a minute ago. Or well, at least when I last saw her. <laughs> Tilly just kind of like stood there next to Rose. Just out in the open. Silly! Hello! Check it out as creepy house, you wanna come? Ooh, definitely. Do you think there'll be broken spoons in there? Maybe. Only one way to find out. 
So we start running forward. She really wants more broken spoons. I'm racing to the top. Is Elwyn going? <laughs> Question. Yeah, she's gonna see him go. She's gonna casually get up and start skipping along the path by the way, because she's quite narrow. Oops, sorry, yeah, don't pull me back this one. Uh, quick question, if you're having the broken spoons, are you taking the spoon end or the stick end? Hmm, both, so that I can have them together. Together but broken? Yes. Okay, I mean, we could just get you some normal spoons and then you could just break them. But I like the old ones. Oh, ah, okay, okay, I understand. Uh, okay. As you guys are moving up, you do see that there are a couple bodies of giant spiders that just have like spears rammed through them and they're kind of dead and pinned to the ground. And these look fairly recent. Hey, look, that's your spiders, Remus. Hey, it is. Um, clearly, something's already dealt with them. Or at least some of them. Less for us to do. Possibly, possibly. Makes me wonder what's already done this. True. Could have been the homeless guy. I doubt I think that's unlikely. He does not seem like the fighting type. Yeah. Um, is this a bit of window or is it just uh, it's boarded up, but it's like metal, oh. as it, uh, metal on the inside is boarding it up. I would like to wander over and attempt to examine the, um, the spider corpses and the spears to see if I can discern anything from them. Roll me investigation, please. Before people go into the door. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna try. Yeah, this is probably from about. S they probably got killed about six hours ago. They are very recent. Oh, <clears throat> uh, lads, these are these are fresh, like very fresh, like today fresh. Are they poisonous? I have a poisonous kit. Um, possibly. I mean, they're dead now. I mean, they're oh, no. probably more venomous than poisonous. I don't know. Um, let me get out your way for you. If you wanted to have a wee look. Um, but they're very freshly killed, so... Definitely be on your guard. Something's been poking spears at stuff. And I don't think it's that old man. Can I attempt to harvest any venom or if they're poisonous or anything like that? Before you do that, because Warren, I saw you headed, headed to the door, have you tried to open it or are you just watching them? Uh, I was going to try the door. You're going to try it, okay? Yeah, see if it's locked. Uh, we'll say you do that just before um, they do the body. Um, as you put your hand on the door, um, hang on. Let me just do that. As you put your hand on the door. Damn it, I'm not trying to get that. <laughs> Sorry, one second. It keeps selecting the bit that I don't want to select. Do you want us to move further out of the way for you? Okay, there we go. Um, oh, who moved? Messed up the selection. <laughs> just, just throw our tokens away. <laughs> okay. As you reach for the door, Warren, uh, you guys are walking into these kind of ruins, and there's kind of a light fog um, layering the ground. And ahead of you, you, you think you see some movement in one of the bushes. Hold up. Huh? I have a strange sense of deja vu. What about you guys? No? Oh, we've been actual. I know we've been. Huh. 
I'm pretty sure we've done this already. I done what? Done I can't hear you. You're muted. We can't hear you. Uh, so yeah, Elle doesn't believe, believe that's happened. She's because I bet it's a man running around, around, around in a sheet. If we go towards that bush, and she's going to go charge into the bush. There. Okay. As you come within a certain distance of it, um, a a sheet runs out and starts shouting at you guys. Ooh, leave this place at once! And runs into the side building. Hey, Remus, um, that must seem familiar to you, yes? Revis is going to draw his bow, and I'm going to knock an arrow, and, um... Did you guys just see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a homeless it was... guy in a sheet, I'm pretty sure. We've seen it before. Oh, I'm sure we have. I'm going to hide Ooh, and once. go over here. <laughs> well, me stealth, please. Uh, we know you're a person. Take off the sheet. I don't know what you're talking about! Elwyn is gonna yeah. pull back her bow. You are hired to look after this place. You got a note in your hat. Ah, you're gonna try and head it off. I'll take the bottom. Yep, yep. Shoot it if it moves up. I'm gonna try and creep up to him. Behind him. I'm gonna go into this house. <laughs> uh, as you kind of like turn the corner, he quickly like turns and looks at you with your eleven stealth. No, no twenty-one. Why would you get the, the advantage? advantage from? What'd you get it from? It just says I get advantage. Because if, if you're wearing the cloak of bat, that's only in dim light. Is using the cloak of bat. Oh. So that just tells me I rolled a 21. Yeah, you rolled an 11 and a 21. Oh yeah, rolled 20 is an 11. Yes, with the advantage. Uh, as he yeah. sees you like turn the corner, it like suddenly turns to look at you and goes, Ooh, leave it one, leave it once, and tries to run past you, Elwin. Uh, as we do that, I'm going to fire an arrow. Roll the hit, please. More, more, more specifically, the... Material around him as opposed to him. What's hit, please? Uh... Oh, that's a waste. Uh, oh, that's really? completely the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's only a why, why, why are you rolling with disadvantage? Because Dis uh, I'm exhausted. That's, that's not... only for ability for skill checks. Oh, is it? Oh, well, yeah, you, you just you just crit him. <laughs> um. Roll damage, please. Seventeen. Uh, with damage, that's twelve plus. I think it's a D six, so twelve. Eighteen plus seventeen. Thirty-five, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. the damage is the DA. Okay. Uh, the D5. He's dead. <laughs> um, almost. Does that shock you into popping my cloak? As you shoot him, it seems to hit him like right, um, sort of near where the heart is, and he kind of drops to the floor as he kind of starts like rolling around on the floor. Uh, the quickly pool, quickly going pool of blood underneath them. Um, as the sheet turns from white to red, as he kind of. Or manages to sort of get it off him. Ah, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> I'm gonna dash out, following him in the direction, and stop dead yeah. in my tracks as I see him bleeding on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna run up and grab him. Revis is also gonna dash out. He's like, "What are you the, doing?" He's on the floor, kind oh, of writhing around in pain, and he is rapidly losing blood. And he starts coughing up, coughing up blood as well. <laughs> I'm going to try and stabilise him. You can shoot me. <laughs> Roll medicine, I'm please. Gonna, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at first level. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Roll the healing. 
Okay. Okay. As you do, he see it kind of like seems to relax a bit as um um and he's kind of pulled the arrow out at this point, which is why he started bleeding so rapidly. But um, the wounds seem to seal steal, seal up, and he seems to be stable at least. Uh, just. The info on that bow says it's a magical arrow, so it disappears once it hits. Uh, it might have then. So it's a repeating shot in it as well. So who put a repeating shot on it? It's just what it says about it. Are you sure? Yep. Positive. Let me give it a read. It says, uh, if you load no ammunition in the weapon, it produces its own, automatically creating one piece of magical ammunition when you pull back the string. The ammunition created by the bow okay. vanishes the instant it hits. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, so that, the arrow would have disappeared immediately, pretty much. <coughs> what about you doing you shooting people? Him. Well, well, I warned him. It's a guy in a sheet. It's not exactly dangerous. During all this, I am poking through his things, trying to find anything related to what just happened to us. I wasn't prepared to mess around like the last time. Uh, he, he's, he barely even seems to be conscious. He's kind of groaning and his eyes are mostly shut. Uh, Warren, roll me investigation, please. <laughs> Seriously? Are you feeling inspired? I don't know if I want to waste that on that. Okay. Okay. Um, there's not anything in this room, just basic living essentials. Um, seeing as this guy's kind of still rolling around on the ground, not looking great, um, I'm going to pull out one of my healing potions and um, get him to drink it. Okay. Uh, and if I remember correctly, I need to roll a d4 on this, don't I? Uh, are you. Because uh, I don't know what my potions are. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we agreed 1 2 for a lower one and 3 4 for a greater. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So I I pour a shitty potion down his throat and get and he gets ten health points back. All right. He seems to stabilize the base. Kind of stopped writing at this point, and his eyes are slightly <sighs> open. They're kind of like fixed on on you. You're right there, young man. <laughs> He's very clearly an old man, but yeah. Well, all right then. You're right there, you <laughs> bugger. Oh, fucking bitch shot me. <laughs> I mean, you are you are pretending to be a ghost, and we kind of are here to kill off ghosts. So, you know, she kind of did it right in that respect. But yeah, why are you pretending to be a ghost anyway? That's what I'm paid to do. But Someone's paying you this. to be that. He's told us this before. I haven't heard this. I don't know what you're talking about. You, old man, <laughs> as I come out of the house. What happened to us? Why have we restarted this? Restart? Why are we back here? Why are we uh, doing this again? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen you before. You definitely have. positive we've been here before. I touched the door, and then we were back here. Like, an hour, I don't know how much time it passed like Half an hour? <laughs> We've gone back half an hour. We've restarted everything we did already. What door? What are you talking about? You haven't touched any of the doors. Well, you touched that door to open it. Snooping around inside his place. Something Who's something paying you this? Warren, I think they have been wiped in their memories. We, we see, I know we've done this before. Anyway, who's paying you this money? Um, I will say it's less of a memory that you guys have and more of just a feeling of deja vu. Feeling of deja vu. Yeah, well, that's what yeah. I was doing there. It's, it's, you don't have any memories of being here before. It's all deja vu. 
Uh, I don't know. They just put it on my on my doorstep. I see. And uh, how often does that happen? It happens weekly. What do you do for another delivery? What's the What's the day today? What is the day today? It's a Friday. Friday. Uh, yeah, I was gonna follow War and Peace. It should be tonight then. Ah, interesting. Oh, oh. Maybe we can just hang about on these ruins and have a little rest and wait till they show up. Uh, no, you you gotta go. You're not supposed to be here. Well, Why um. Not? Answer the nice lady, young man or old man. Because. <clears throat> I'm paid to stop people from being here, and if you're here, they're probably not going to pay me. I need that money. Well, um, let's let's not too worry too much about that right now. This is uh, your cabin, yeah. Shall we? Um, let's perhaps get you inside and into your bed, and uh, you can rest to let that wound settle down, and um, we'll. Uh, We'll be on our way afterwards, and you can don't you worry about that. We'll uh, let's we'll make sure that uh, we uh, head off and ensure that no one else comes and you know does anything, and that way you'll keep your money. Yeah, sounds good. And uh, yeah, Reva's still gonna help him up and kind of put him in the bed. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna detect magic on the door this time. Um, there's no magic on the door. Yeah, it seems like there's no magic inside at all. You, you, think, you get the notion that we've been here before. Most definitely. What did you do last time? I just touched... I feel like I touched the door. Well, I, I I help Rebus put the guy in, and then I tap him into bed. Nice. <laughs> he very quickly kind of like uh, falls asleep. Everyone's gonna walk straight up to the door and grab the handle. Okay. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He became a super giant. <laughs> I, I think that was the pebble trying to suck him in for a wee second. <laughs> oh, he gets stretched. Um, okay, so as you guys walk along, you come across these kind of lightly misted ruins. Um, and up ahead of you, you think you see some movement in one of the bushes. Um. Deja vu, anyone? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, it's a feeling of having been or done something before. I have been and done many things before. Ooh, Do you feel like we've been in an exact position place. before? No. Uh, Revis is going to um, draw his bow and knock an arrow in it and just um, kind of get ready looking over. Yeah. Did as... you guys just see that? <laughs> I thought we were going to blow this guy with it. You know, guys know what's going on. <laughs> yes. I'm going to look for the guy and I'm going to fire an Eldritch Blast in. Okay, well, the hit plays. <laughs> as, uh, as you kind of step towards that opening, it quickly turns to look at you. As you blast that, he kind of like quickly runs forward, dodging it um, as it hits into the wall. I've got to do it twice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to do those hits. Ooh, leave it once! Yeah, I wouldn't do it back here. Um, as he runs by, Elwyn's going to tackle him. 
you got one hell of a tackle if you, tackle if you can jump 15 feet. <laughs> as, as you as ran you by. Run. Yeah, you're here. Oh. You. Uh, okay. It's a little delayed because I've got to measure it out and then I. And then you go see it. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're going to try and chase him down, down and grab, grab him and tackle him. <laughs> Alright. Uh, as you start chasing him, he's just going to start running. Just kind of shouting at you guys to leave. Alright, if you're going to go up, I'm going to take bottom. And Revis is going to start heading along the uh, the undergrowth. I'm just going to keep chasing him. <laughs> as he's running this way, he suddenly sees you and turns the other way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go to his house and wait for him in case he comes back. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh. Ah! You see him like sprint past? <laughs> sprint past me. I'm gonna sort of high here and then trip him as he comes around the corner. Oh. <laughs> he just comes nowhere near you as he quickly uh, barges in the door of his house and like slams it behind him. And <laughs> as he stood there, he just kind of slowly slam the door turns. Up behind him and lock it so he can't. Well, he turned around and slapped. I, I was thinking like you were stood behind the open door. So when he came in and slammed it, he just kind of slowly turns to look at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him a little wave and smile. <laughs> smile away. And then they're gonna um, rip the sheet off him. Um, this time it seems to be more of a young, younger guy. Um, definitely not homeless. He he looks um, looks like he's uh, quite um, more like an athlete or a soldier. But he hasn't got any armor or anything. Or, or weapons. Ah, oh, Shit. What the hell are you doing? Look, I'm I'm just paid to scare people off, okay? Were you a beggar? No. How? Who's paying you? In I don't know, it's just Why? dropped off. It's just dropped off on my uh, porch. On, on my doorstep. I feel like you're different. There was an older guy here before. What? I I don't remember an older guy. I, there's, I mean, I've been living here for like a year. A year? Can we hear? Can I hear this outside? Uh, no. Can I open the door? Push in. You could try. What do you want? Athletic tech. Don't forget, you have disadvantage. Did you take over from someone? Uh, well, they they said the the, the last guy retired. Retired, eh? Where's um? Where's Warren? Elwyn's trying to push open the door, but it's just unsuccessful. I see this. You're You're strong. Strong. Wait, before I ask him that, do we know what year it is? Uh, I did write it down. Because I knew there would be... It's not in this book, hang on. It's in my other one. <clears throat> Give me a second. I have told you guys before, but uh, if anyone has it, you, you feel free to say it. Uh, yeah, hang on, just just having a quick look, see, because I think I think I had some of that knowledge with Erasmus Bane, but I don't think I brought it over. And um, yeah, I did have some of that stuff with Erasmus, but unfortunately, um, Revis doesn't really think about things like that. <laughs> I 
thought I had it. Sorry. I could have sworn I wrote it down somewhere. I'm just trying to find it. Okay. Um, I can't find it. I'm going to assume none of you have it. Um, no, so I can't find it. It's uh, you would know that the year you were in was cycle thirteen, uh, cycle fourteen. Sorry, um, and the year was uh, two thousand nine hundred fifty-five. I'm actually just going to throw that into the, one of the chats. Um, You'd be good. Yeah, I've written that down too. So I will uh, the throw years. It into the indie campaign link. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I've written it down as well. Yeah. 2955. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2955. So, yeah, uh, knowing this, I'm going to query him. What's the year? Like, what's the date? Uh, it's the 103rd day of, of cycle 13, year 2996. Two nine nine six. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, cycle thirteen two nine nine six. Do you have any um, records for I don't know cycle fourteen two nine five five? Two nine nine five. Cycle fourteen. That's that's like ten thousand years away, man. Cycle 14, 2995. It's 10,000 yeah. years in the future. Uh, closer to like 8, well, yeah, almost exactly 10,000, yeah. Now that's an issue. Excuse me one second, I must go talk to the others. Wait, what? <laughs> he has Don't his... worry about it, brother. Am I kicking this door down or what? Uh, <laughs> Yes, kick it down, Beavis. You're sure. a strong man. Uh, he moves out of the way to when you get to the door. Beavis, for me, athletics check, please, as you go to kick in the door. Can I open it as he, like, the same time he kicks it? We'll see. <laughs> roll, roll me an acrobatic. I want to see who opens the door first. Uh, so, Roll, you manage to grip the door handle, but just as you do, the door suddenly goes, boom, it kind of smacks you in the face. Um, as the door's no. kicked open by <laughs> Oh, sorry, so, Warren. Uh, four blood and damage. <laughs> Did none of you realise we've done this before? Elwyn seemed to think that the door wouldn't open, so I thought if I kicked it. But apologies for that, sir. That was my nose. It might be broken. That's okay, um, we won't notice. I, I'm sure, sure we've done this before. before. Maybe. Done what? Up. What year do you guys think it is? Oh, oh. cycle fourteen, two thousand nine ninety five. Yeah, no. Six. Apparently, it's Sorry, cycle. Six. It's cycle thirty two nine nine six. Uh, nine five. Six. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five. Nine six is what he told you. Nine six. What are you talking about? I asked the guy. He said that today's date is a hundred and something days into cycle thirteen. Year 2996. Almost 10,000 years ago. We have somehow travelled 10,000 years to the past, I think. Hey! Does that mean that if we deliver the package, we'll get like a bonus for delivering it early? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Well, the, the guy that wants it delivered doesn't even his parents don't even exist yet. So, oh, so we gotta hold on to it a wee bit longer. All right. Or at maybe least until we, we resolve it, this. Maybe we give it to their parents, 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 parents. That's a good thinking. I like that idea. Just um, we don't know who we're delivering it to. Well, we need to find that um, that cabin. But I think maybe, I mean, this is definitely the haunted village, right? Most definitely. So, so if we, I think that means that we should head, once we've finished here, we need to head back and get that 
uh, I guess it will be that place, but you know, as I said, I don't feel comfortable leaving the box there because everyone's dead. But I guess it's okay. Well, if it's ten thousand years in the past, then nobody's dead. There's somebody coming. Where's uh, Rose? Where is Rose? That's a good point. She's transformed into a male. What the hell? <laughs> where are you, Rose? Uh, I'm not at the top left, wondering yeah. if this path goes anywhere. She just uh, ran off. So you left everywhere. I just started walking all around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys hear footsteps coming from t from the south of you, the way you guys came from. Uh, yeah. Somebody's coming. Well, yes, we can see that. Hi. Uh, they're kind of like looking down at something, maybe some sort of clipboard thing they have. As they look up, they slowly stop in their tracks and look at you guys. Um, uh, Vivus, Zilly, and Rowan, roll me history, please. That's not high. Oh, that just slightly rolled off of an 18. Um, <laughs> Vivus, you have no clue who this is. Warren, I don't. You're pretty sure this is Sven, and Zilly, you're almost certain this is Sven. Oh there, good traveller! Um, what are you guys doing here? This, uh, don't you know this place is haunted? You, sh you should leave. Um, we're actually here to deal with the haunting. Uh, we, we took the, um, we took the, uh, the, the, the job off of the bulletin board in the city. What um, city? It doesn't seem to be haunted though. It's like just a just a man. Hang on, what city? Um, excuse me, traveller. Uh, do you know the date? Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's um it's cycle thirteen two nine nine six. Okay, so that's wrong. That might be right, but something's wrong here because uh, me and my friends. Uh, we got here during cycle 14 to 995. As you say this, his eyes kind of like go wide and he just turns around and runs to start sprinting. Come back! <laughs> uh, and you see, uh, you see geez. as he's running, he kind of like pulls something out and kind of crushes it in his hand. And as he does, like a weird portal appears in front of him that he runs through and it disappears behind him. Uh, the. Did y'all see that? Yeah, we were supposed we supposed to chase or something. I didn't I didn't get any kind of indication from you as to what to do. Who was that? Uh, you know him. Who is he? I have never seen that man before in my life. I think that was Sven. Sven. Yeah, did Tormik ever talk to you about him? When? Was this about Sven? As I'm walking back to the group. Oh, well, this guy, Sven, appeared on the path and Warren told him the wrong date and he ran off and disappeared. Wait, what do you mean the wrong date? Uh, it seems we might have a slight issue of being 10,000 years in the past. Uh, Warren, can you do your, like, magical voodoo thing to, like, see what kind of maybe residual magic there was? Because he just kind of disappeared and that... i guess, and that probably involves magic, right? Possibly. I'll give it a go, and I'll uh, detect magic. Um, Warren, as you try and do this, you feel that it's been disconnected from you. Um, it might have been there at some point, but you don't have a connection to it anymore. Uh, it seems that I can no longer do that. I have no idea why. Ah! Um, well... If you look at his that's... eyes, they're both normal. Just, you know. Oh! Your eyes look... Boring. Damn. 
That's not normal, is it? No, it is not. That's okay. I'm sure I can make. Uh, I can figure this one out. And um, Revis is gonna go over to where the guy disappeared and kind of like poke around at the grass to try and work out what happened. Can you roll me out, please? With, with supreme confidence. Because A is so smart. I kind of hope you get in that twenty. Damn. No. <laughs> um, it seems like kind of where he disappeared. Uh, oh god! Yeah, no, go on, go on. I'm going to use my inspiration. Actually, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to try. For, I'm going to try for it. Risk it for the biscuit. That made it worse, <laughs> <laughs> but very, um, very slightly. Uh, you could tell that where he disappeared, some of the gla glass has kind of been cut up. Like there's just missing bits. Yeah. Well, um, he, he kind of trimmed the grass as he went. Um, so I'm guessing that's kind of like gone wherever he went, maybe? Or it was uh, obliterated. What are we looking at? Uh, this is where the man disappeared. Um, Can I also investigate the area? Yeah, roll me our card. Me too. Go look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I already showed you those bits of glass. There's nothing more to see. Uh, yeah, well, and you can tell that this glass is, you know, freshly cut. It's quite nice. Uh, those, what glass? There's no glass there. <laughs> what do you mean, grass? It's just stones. <laughs> oh, no, the, the wee bits of grass in between. <sighs> Look, like, the magic users are talking. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you... You know magic, Rufus? <laughs> yeah, I told you, look, there's like bits of grass that have been cut up there. And um, I'm, I'm going to go back to that, that university and study. I, I think I would make a very good um, magic man. I think I'd be great at that. I can perform some magic, but I'd like to be able to do it like for real. Did we just leave that man alone? Um, does anybody turn around and look? I'm going to turn around and look and start heading back. Uh, as you do, you yeah. see him kind of like slam open the door and like start squinting off of like a backpack full of stuff. Shit. The hell? <sighs> this has probably got to be our worst ever dealing with haunted places. <laughs> well, it's definitely haunted, I guess. Everybody keeps running away from us. You'd think we're haunting this place or something. That's... <laughs> Hold up. You might be onto something there, Rebus. Of course I'm on something. I'm on the floor. I wish I was on drugs. I don't have any, but I do have some dwarven beer. Honestly, I think I might need some at this point. My head's starting to hurt a little. Uh, sure. You can have a, a wee sip from the tankard, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you the tankard of plenty with um, to have a have a wee squiz from. I'm gonna slug half of it just immediately. All right. Uh, just so you know, that's a, that'll be a pint and a half because uh, each click is three pints. So even funnier. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'm gonna take the other pint and a half because that's mine. <laughs> um. Uh, anyway, uh, what else are we looking at? Yeah. I'm going to go back and continue inspecting this path and where it leads. Uh, it's... Uh, Owen's oh, gone to the statue that had a missing head. Uh, the head is the head is there. It seems to be... Um, uh, the head is... Um, they're not wearing a helmet. And they appear to maybe have had uh, kind of some long hair and... Uh, Quite bold facial features. Uh, Rose, up near where you ran, it is heavily um, shrouded in like bushes and stuff, and there's no way you'd get through without a machete or something. Hmm. Long through road then. 
Uh, Zimmy, where you are, those spiders are still dead. <laughs> Same Ooh, thing. Yay. Then can she, yeah, pull them into pieces and put them in her backpack? Roll me athletics, please. Athletics. Can I investigate the statue for anything that might be different? Uh, as, you're, last time? as you're pulling on these spiders, they're barely even budging. Doesn't seem like you're going to get them apart anytime soon. Oops. Uh, the statue seems to be pretty much the same, except it's got a great axe instead of a great sword now. This path leads nowhere, just a bunch of bushes. Uh, I am going to start walking around, checking out the buildings, I think. Okay. Um, um, seeing as Zilly's kind of already headed off, I'm going to kind of check in on this one. Yeah, we're, um, instead of going through to every single building and describing all of them again, um, every <laughs> building that you guys visit is fundamentally the same with very minor differences. Um, so something's in a slightly different spot. Maybe it has a different colour bedding. Maybe um, the webs are kind of at a slightly a different angle. Um, but everything is ever so slightly different. All right. Um, then I'm going to um, head up towards the uh, the big building. Okay. Uh, and try and catch up with Zilly. Trying to help in inspecting this statue. Yeah, I'm looking specifically to see if there's anything that can tell us um, about the statue or if there's something to do with the house up on the hill. There's no plaques or anything on it, no. It's just a statue. Are these windows still boarded up? Yeah, they're kind of like plated up on the inside metal. You're right there, Zilly. Yeah, I couldn't pull the spiders apart. Uh, which bit did you want? Zilly's just sitting on top of the dead spiders now, just cross-legged and looking sadly down. Um, I wanted the abdomen. The big uh, belly bit. As she's sitting there, you see one of the legs twitch. <laughs> uh, Brevis is gonna grab Zilly and pull her off quickly. Okay. I think I just saw a leg twitch, Zilly. Let's, uh, maybe you shouldn't be quite so close. Aww, I was having fun. I know, but, um,. Let me just pull off that leg, and um, then you can have the abdomen if you want it. Uh, Thank you. Hang on, I gotta got try and find the uh, stat block. Yeah, take time. Okay. Is this a back door? Uh, it is, but it seems like it's also been kind of plated up with something and won't budge. Hang on, so I guess we can make another token. No, I take time, so good. So, so Warren, if I. I think by, I, I seem to have touched this door before. Do, okay. Do you get the same notion? 
before anybody touches the door, <laughs> we'll jump back to the spiders. Um, it seems to kind of twitch, but it's um, it seems like it's kind of where its abdomen is. It's also kind of like twitching. What are you doing? Almost like it's breathing. It's kind of like bending outwards, slightly. Um, Revis is going to attempt to grab hold of the slightly twitching leg and try and pull it off. Could everybody roll me an issue, please? No, no <laughs> I would love to. Ooh, now I would love to less. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't. I wasn't the bad Warren, so I'm gonna let go of that one. <laughs> Unless you're feeling inspired. <laughs> uh, Owen's gonna run away. Yeah. Large is two by two, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll say initiative starts just as you pull the leg off. A uh, kind of blue white leg kind of shoots out as something pulls itself out, and it's a big uh, blue and white spider. Ah! Uh, that suddenly seems to just shoot its eyes at you and immediately goes to bite you. Um, yeah, so it's going to go to for a bite, which is a 23 to hit. Oh, that hits. Can you make me a con save, please? Uh, that's a 10. That is actually a fail. Um, I thought for sure you wouldn't fail that, but you did. Okay. So you take nine points of piercing damage. Um, but as it bites into you, uh, it injects some poison into you, dealing 21 points of poison damage. Ooh. And as it does this, it seems to almost like bolt towards you as it kind of poof, it disappears. Ouch. Am I poisoned or was that just poison damage? Uh, uh you're poison damage. Not poison Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, that's cool. Just checking. And Ow! Okay, that's his turn. You have to just speak. <laughs> Sorry, I think I cut you off. No, no, I, I just said ow. <laughs> uh, Reavers was vocalizing his pain of being stabbed and bitten. Uh, so, yeah, Alwyn, you've just noticed this spider appear. Uh, Alwyn's not very happy about this because not only is she feeling very tired, she has very little left in the tank. As opposed to spells. Um, and it's disappeared, so we can no longer see it. She is going to draw her bow and be ready to fire when it appears. Okay. And she's probably going to back up a little bit from Rebus. Is it appears near him again? Okay then. Is we done? Rose, it's your turn. I am going to use my um action and No, I'm gonna use my bonus action to crank my crossbow once. Okay. And going to use my action to ready an attack for when the spider appears. So you want to shoot it if it appears? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to move five foot here with my back against the wall. That's it. Okay. Uh, Vivas, it is your turn. Alright. Um, 
I... Revis is, is kind of pissed off, because that hurt a lot. Um, so, um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to shift to give myself some extra hit points as my bonus action. And I'm going to move my... Uh, I'm going to move my um, thing, my shadow, away a little bit. And, um, yeah, throw down the um, the leg that I ripped off and pull out my greatsword. And, um, yeah, I'm going to um, ready an attack if um, anything comes within range. Okay, then. Is that everything? Uh, yep, I think that's it for me. Lily, it's your turn. I am going to da, 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 cast Primal Savagery on myself for, and uh, yeah, just be ready for when it appears. Uh, I don't know if Primal Savagery works like that. Mm. You can ready in action, so if it appears within range, you can hit it with it. Ah, uh, sorry, yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry, my brain. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Um. Is that everything? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I can think of. Okay, it's your turn, Ron. I'm gonna activate my cannon. If you to flame for a mag. Don't be fire resistant, we must. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think actually we learned that earlier the other day, the other week. Not yet. Yeah. A few more levels to go. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now, until it arrives. Okay. Is that an action or a bonus action to get your cannon up? Uh, it's an action to get it up, oh, okay. and it's a bonus action to fire it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I don't know if I can ready a bonus action? No. Ready an no. action is an action. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's it. Pretty much. Okay. So much. Oh, actually, uh, I'm gonna take a few steps back. <laughs> Alright then. Oh. Um, uh, as it suddenly, kind of the air seems to shift and it just poof and appears again, uh, right here between you guys. And the first person, uh, you were gonna try and hit it, weren't you, Rose? Yep. Well, it's hit with disadvantage because you're in melee range. Uh, probably. But I also get advantage because I have a friend within five feet of it. No. You don't get advantage, it would allow you to do things like potentially sneak attack, but you're at disadvantage, so you couldn't apply sneak attack. Okay. Three, seven. Uh, yeah, it kind of like appears and as you shoot it just kind of ducks its head down and then suddenly lunges at you um, and it's going to try and basically bite you in the chest. Isn't my crossbow broken now as well? Uh, yes, yes it is. Yep. Um, okay. That is a 22 to hit. Does that hit? Who? You. Me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Could you make me a con save as it bites into you, dealing 10 piercing? <laughs> Six. <laughs> That's a fail. So it deals 10 piercing damage. And. I'm also going to do uncanny dodge. So five piercing damage. Okay. Uh, did we not long rest before this? No. Nope. Oh. No. Uh, that's twenty-six poison damage. Yeah, yeah I'm down. Okay. Uh, you are stable, but you are poisoned and um, 
you are down still. You're just stable, so you don't need to roll death saves. Uh, also, add the okay. poison effect to yourself. Okay. Uh, you're paralyzed. You're paralyzed as well. So poisoned and paralyzed. Okay. Yep. Um, that. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. It is then going to um, run up the wall. So straight ahead of it, it's just going to run straight forward and climb up the wall. Uh, so Rebus, you can have an opportunity with your shadow if you want one. And L1, you can as well. Well, I had, I a, had shot a shot point point. Oh. Uh, uh, ready to go and put a fear, didn't I? So. Uh, you didn't tell me you had a red action. I didn't hear you say it. Um, okay, roll me. You can wreck on that a little bit. It still would have done it to action, but uh, roll me to hit with disadvantage then, as it would have appeared. So good. Roger, tap with disadvantage. That's 13. 13 would not hit. As, uh, cool. as you blast it, it just flies off, your arrow flies off. Premature. Uh, and it, as it is going to sky forward just after knocking Rose down. Uh, do you want to have an opportunity with your shadow? Um, I do, I do. Um, just to be fair, um, I'm not sure that I get opportunity. I don't, I don't know if an opportunity attack would account would account for um, a readied action because essentially a readied action takes up your reaction and um, there isn't the wording's a bit squiffy because it says that whenever you take the attack action on your turn you can choose to make the action originate from the echo and this would be a reaction so it's it's your call um, I would just say that like your readied action would, have been, would be cancelled in exchange for the opportunity attack okay all right then, cool. In that case, uh, yeah, I'm going to um, attack recklessly with the old Great Weapon Master and all that juicy juicy and get two terrible rolls and I miss. Yep, that's a miss. As it, <laughs> as it scurries up the wall uh, onto the roof, so you, it is on top of the roof. Sorry, it's not Sunday, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm rolling like Sunday rolls. <laughs> it definitely feels like a Sunday. <laughs> oh dear, awesome. Uh, Elwyn, it's your turn. Oh, right, okay, uh, can, can I, I see it? it? Not from your angle. Uh, well, I'm going to back up down the road. Now I'll back up to my 30 feet. And hopefully I can see it from there. You can only just see it. It, it would have three quarters of cover. Okay. And I will use a uh, sharpshooter, which should it ignore that. Uh, you don't need to shoot with sharpshooter to ignore the three quarters cover. It would just ignore it anyway. Oh, right, okay. Well, do you try sharpshooter? That's with really disadvantage on that? Or is it not? The attack rolls disadvantage for me as, as I'm exhausted. No. No, no, it's only for skill checks. Right, okay. Keep forgetting that. Okay, so 23 to hit. Oh, nice. 23. 23, so that'd be an 18. An 18? Yep, because with sharpshooter it's minus 5. Which I said I was using sharpshooter. Yeah. Quarters, 
So there's that damage, and it would do a further 10 piercing damage. So that's yep. 20 damage. Uh, and then whatever the thing is that was imbued with, I suppose, is the is the infused damage. Did you get to choose that? That was, no, yeah, I think it's that, was, that was nine piercing with one lightning, and then the extra ten because of sharpshooter. Yep. And yeah, that's so as it blasts it, it yeah. kind of like uh, squeals and then kind of ducks down a bit. I say squeals; it's more like a weird squeak noise, a squeak screech thing. Yeah. Um, haven't seen that do success. I will. It has, again. it has used its reaction to duck down, so it is in full cover at the minute. So I can't see it, it's in full cover. You can't see it. Uh, there's nothing else I can do then, because... Uh, that's so little that they had to do, they just left. Disgusted. <laughs> um, I'm guessing that's just a blip. Yeah. I don't know what's happened there. You just got disconnected. Yeah, no, no worries. I just got disconnected. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I can't see if anything now, so I can't shoot it. So. Okay. Uh, I lose the, the extra shot on it. In that case, uh, Rose, you're, there's nothing you can do because you're paralysed and poisoned. Uh, Rebus, it's your turn. Alright. Um, Rebus is going to scream in rage. Bonus action. And he's going to run over to um, Rose. And I'm going to attempt to pour one of my healing potions down her. Which um, uh, I'm not sure how to do a D three. I think it's a D three. Yeah, just do slash roll one D three and roll twenty. <laughs> uh, sorry, Rose, you're gonna get a shitty basic healing potion for ten health. Okay, so Rose, you have ten health, but you're still poisoned and paralyzed. Yeah, but at least you're technically awake. <laughs> um, Yay! And, uh, yeah. Now, now you're just uh, suffering, not being able to move. Everyone's like, <gasps> gasping, but yeah, wide eyed. Are you alright, Rose? Can't speak. <laughs> just moan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's that'll be that'll be Revis's turn. Oh, are you tired, Jim? <laughs> is that everything everything you want to do with us yeah so um yeah so bonus action rage and uh healing potion for that and yeah okay. that's that's that'll be it for me uh Zilly, it's your turn okay how high is it again just checking like the roof is 30 foot high. Uh, what have I got that I haven't used? Uh, look at this, sorry, I was looking at... Would it be possible to polymorph myself in something like, I don't know, a giant ape or something? I mean, you could. Let me look up the statistics of giant ape. Yeah. Probably be a bit extra though. Uh, I think giant apes, I think, is okay because I think they're a CR seven. So yeah. I'm just wondering if that's too much to take care of the spider. Then I can stay a giant ape for how long? Like an hour. One hour, unless you lose concentration. True. So, yeah, and I can only do it once. So, so if we come up with something scarier. I think I'll just use it and yeah, as I want to. So uh, yeah, cool. giant ape away. 
that okay. takes an action to cast out, so all I can do really this turn is turn into a giant ape. Uh, the giant ape is for some reason going to look like a badger because that's the best thing I have. <laughs> and that is a huge beast. <laughs> okay. That's a uh, yeah. Oh yeah, movement. Um, I can climb uh, forty feet. So uh, yeah, I think I do that. I can't control the. Oh badger. yeah, sorry. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna climb forty feet onto the build, like as high as I can onto the building. Uh, okay, you can probably make it up onto this to be fair. And uh, yeah, that's everything. I'm now a very, very, very big monkey. Okay. Uh, Warren, it's your turn. Um, how high is the building? I'm trying to... Thirty feet. Uh, Um, I'm going to move first. Okay. To there. Um, Oh, I don't know. Uh, I might cast enlarge on. Uh, let's do it on Zuli. Uh, could you post a spell for me? <laughs> a giant, giant ape. <laughs> It should double her size, I'm pretty sure. Uh, in oh, scale, she'll go up by one, so she'll go from a 3x3 three three to a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Quite how big do you want sure. it? Yeah. Technically, it makes you gargantuan, I think, at that point. Yeah, I think gargantuan's 4x4, four four, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to do that. Doesn't that increase her damage as well? Yeah, she gets an extra d4. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if I need her fully. I got a lot of damage in this form in 100. Uh, as you do this, you hear kind of like a cracking sound as it seems. Um, the floor, the roof that Zillia stood on seems to kind of bow in a bit and the walls start to have cracks forming on them. Ooh, we may find out resolve, yeah, it might resolve the whole world imagine thing too. That's why I was thinking. <laughs> Just the weight. When she falls through the roof and we all reset again. <laughs> that would be funny. Do we, do we reset the or do I stay as a guy? I wasn't you. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Is that everything gone? Uh, yeah, because the spider's probably 15 foot up. Okay. Uh, the spider is going to see this giant ape appear, get bigger, and then it's going to lunge at its leg, so it's going to try and bite you. Damn it, it's not scared of me. That's a nat 20. A nat 20 somehow hits, though my armor class is only a 12. <laughs> Could you and I need to roll a con save uh, a con as save, well. Please. Yep. Yeah. Can I use inspiration to stop it from getting a map twenty? I thought you already re used your inspiration. Ah. I used mine, no. Yeah, you did. You used it to reroll the Arcana earlier, didn't you? No, that no, was, um, that was Rebus. Rebus. You could use it to roll on the balance board. I was hoping to stop it from getting a twenty, but. Um, Might need to get silvery barbs for that. 
Yeah, that's what I think. That is a fail, which means it's going to do double damage. Uh, so that's 12. That's 16 piercing damage. That would also mean, because that con save I was doing to see if I could keep this form when attacked, that if I don't, then I turn into Zilly when I'm attacked. Uh... Well, you you would take damage in this form first. Yeah. Okay. And then revert back, so, so I think the nat one would be for the poison damage, but... To be honest, I suspect with the amount of damage that's going to get done, it's probably going to be a, a concentration check that you couldn't succeed on. <laughs> so, see what the damage is first. Uh, and that's 64 poison damage. Ah, oh, not bad. Out of 157, 64 ain't bad. And uh, what would the save be for concentration on that? Uh, 32. Oh. <laughs> what were you <laughs> it's it's half damage. I'm never gonna get. It. I'm never gonna see yeah. that. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huge eight becomes big zilly. <laughs> Wait, what you get on your save? Because I think I can add three to it. <laughs> I didn't enough. roll the save because I can't. Get it would not be enough. That. She needs to get a thirty-two. Oh right, I thought you and all the giant ape has is a plus four. I'm probably in the center of that. Ah! Oh yeah, I'm still big. Got yeah. that. In the center. Right. Still big, but yeah, slightly less impeded. <laughs> but hey, hey, at least you, you took that damage for us. Uh, mm -hmm. And as it does this, it kind of like drops back and seems to just poof, disappear into thin air again. Damn. Arr. That's a Damn. Ten. It's hiding for me because I know I can give it a good kicking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's your turn, Elwyn. Elwyn. Elwyn's kind of uh, a bit of a loss. Uh, she has drawn a bead on it, but can't see it. Uh, oh, damn it. I am going to fire a shot. Uh, just a straightforward shot at where it was last. Okay. Um, or where I saw it last, which would have been here somewhere, I guess. Uh, you know, want me to roll, roll, roll to hit? Uh, that's a hit. Um, it flies and it hits the wall. Uh, the hit bounces off the roof and then disappears. I'm assuming you're not putting actual ammo into it. No, I haven't been. Uh, okay, uh, it's gone. Um, uh, yeah, Elwin's going to keep away from the building. She doesn't want to get too close. <coughs> okay. So I guess I'll just leave it at that again. So, guys. Um, very sorry, Rose, but you are still paralysed. Uh, no check. <laughs> Perk is stable, but poisoned for one hour. Uh, and is paralyzed while poisoned in this way. Okay. Yeah. I really don't like uh, using those because it um, takes you out of the game, but. Can someone get my poisonous kit and harvest the poison from my blood <laughs> so I can use it later? Uh, do we have anything to cure poison? Maybe. Nope. Beavis, it is your turn. Uh, Warren, um, Rose doesn't seem to be responding. She's, I, I've given her a healing potion, but she's not getting up. Um, if you want to try and look after her, and I'm going to see if I can chase this bugger down. And I'm going to get my shadow to fly um, up towards the the roof. You said it was 30 feet high, so actually you probably couldn't get maybe there, but I don't know, maybe to there? I'd say, I'd say you could probably just about get on the roof. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yep, yeah. and then I will use my bonus action to switch places with him. Um, and as an action, I'm just going to ready ready my sword for uh, anything coming. Okay. Wow, Zilly, you're big. <laughs> I 
I know, right? I was expecting like, I oh, know. <laughs> Just a really deep voice. Well, I'm here with you. If you see where it went, I'm ready. Do halflings count as medium? Uh, yeah. Halflings are small. So she'd just be normal size then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, she, yeah, she'd be, she'd be, yeah, one by one, but she'd be medium instead of large. Sorry to ruin She's still time. big. She's still, I mean, she's still big compared, compared to what she was, but, you know. Yeah, but she's, she'd yeah. be twice the size, so she'd be the same size as you, pretty much, from our <laughs> Uh, how tall is Silly? Uh, three foot. I'm still taller. <laughs> <laughs> but you look good as a medium-sized creature. Nice legs. Thank you. Anyway, we'll discuss that later. <laughs> um, talking about Leia, it is Zilly's turn. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. I am going to... Uh, I don't want to keep using my spells because I'm getting low on spell slots now. Uh, well, sort of. Uh, I am going to prepare produce flame the moment I see this thing. I'm going to burn it alive if I can. Okay, so you're going to ready an action to use produce flame on it if you see it? Yeah. What's the range no of telling you. Uh, range is... 30. 30. Uh, is it? Where is it? Here, yeah, probably 30. Okay. Yep, 30 feet. Uh, is that everything on? That's all I can think of. Gonna stay on the roof. Warren, it's your turn. Uh, I'm gonna grab the door. You're grabbing the door? Yeah. Okay. Hey, don't move your character away trying to escape this. <laughs> Alright. I cast uh, deletion. <laughs> Where, where's your token gone now? It's there. Right, stop moving them. I will say, apropos of nothing, that um, there are certain DMs that will um, give people uninspired. And the DM gets to use it, so just gonna say, don't piss off the DMs. <laughs> 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 okay. And head back up to the top of the turn order. So you guys walk into these ruins and they're kind of destroyed. Everything. Um, there's smoke filling the air. The sky is black. And um, what you can see of the sun looks like it's been split apart. Nice. My neck hurts. My eyes hurt from looking at the sun. This is scary. I don't like it anymore. Yes. Uh, uh, Rose, you are no longer paralyzed. You kind of like wake up, but you, you're like on the floor and your limbs are kind of stiff, but you are able to move. Oh, I slept funny. So, uh, Can we maybe have a long rest? Uh, yeah, sure. It's been a hell of a ride, so... Uh, just as a quick bonus action, um, Revis is going to kind of crack his neck where he got bitten. And I'm gonna do a uh, second wind. Okay. To get a few hit points back. Um, as, 
as you guys are standing, oh there, yeah, that'll do. Uh, this door swings open and someone <laughs> steps out with a sword and starts like pointing it towards you. Get away from here! This is my spot. I'm gonna drink one of my greater potions, healing. Thanks, thanks on the keyboard. Okay. I gotta slowly approach this guy so I can talk to him. He kind hey, of, uh, he pulls the sword up, um, like he's ready for a fight. You don't need to roll, it's max of... healing, those, if you use an action for it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What's I'm max sort of healing? Then? 20. 20. Okay. Oh, what did you say, Ron? Uh, I hold out my hands as I approach him, like, palms out, uh, to show that I don't Put! mean anything. No! Face them away! I know you, okay. I know your types. Magic cards. I'll turn them the other way. I'll turn them away. It's okay, it's okay, calm down. We're, we don't mean any harm, we just got here. What What happened? Behind him you see that there's like a bunch of like dead um, corpses that are like rotted away and like they've all been kind of killed. What the hell happened? Did you do that? What do you mean, what the hell happened here? You've been living under a bloody rock? The world's gone to shit! You could say that. We have been living under a rock, yes. What? What's happening? What's happened? What do you mean, what's happened? Look at the bloody sun, for starters! Uh, look, we're from cycle 14, 2995. Cycle 14? This is cycle 14. Nine, 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 nine. Well, we're from cycle fourteen to nine, nine, and five. Ari, calm down now. Look, um, my name is Rivas, and this is Warren. Um, I think we're all a wee bit confused here, and we don't fully understand. Um. That that lady over there is Elwyn. Um, what would your name be, sir? He suddenly pulls out uh, like a he pulls like a crossbow off his hip and points it towards Rose. Stop right there! <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I I just dropped something down here, and I'm gonna pretend like I'm rummaging around the floor looking for something. Oh yeah, yeah there it is. Any other of your friends trying to sneak up on me? Rose, don't sneak up on the nice man. We're trying to have a chat and we don't want to provoke. Um, there is Weasley in the background there, who I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, we are just five of us, but uh, we are quite well armed, so don't be making any silly mistakes now. Um, can, can you tell us when exactly this happened? When, when did all this happen? This, this kicked off, well it began around the year you guys say you came from. Oh. There's a, a crack that, uh, uh, we've, we've been told there's a crack that formed in Articonia and after about a month it spread out and started obliterating everything. Okay, oh, so... Yeah. Take that, that crack we were trying to seal. This is yes. what we were trying to seal. With the... Uh, con so this is, this is your guy's fault. You caused this. No, we were sent no. here to resolve a haunted mansion. We touched the door and then we would travel one way or the other. Apparently. Our, our mission was, was to try and stop this. And it would appear that we've been sucked into the future by if your mission so was to stop this then why did it still happen because we got sucked out of our time period we're, we're been skipped the years have gone by and we've not been there well um are there any powerful mages or anything around that can perhaps get us back to our time period. Are you sure we're in the wrong time period, Warren? Yeah. 
Uh, he kind of like says, he clips his okay. uh, crossbow back onto his waist and rubs his chin with one hand. What did you say your names were? Grievous. Rose. Silly. Yeah, he kind of like loosens up a bit and raises an eyebrow and sheaths the sword and he walks into his house. <laughs> huh. I think he'd at least invite us in for tea. Well, I, I think that was an invitation. I think that was, you know... I I mean, that seemed quite friendly to me. He, has he disarmed and, <laughs> and, you know, walked in, so... Yeah. Looks good to me. Coming. Yeah, that's fine. Um, inside, he has his, he has um, this table set up where there's five seats on the other end, almost like he's been waiting for you guys. There's one seat on his nice. side for him to sit on. Are you coming in now, or are you waiting outside? Uh, yeah, no, she's she's gonna casually walk up, uh, squeeze past Lily. Okay. <clears throat> well, they told me to wait here for you guys, so it did happen then. Who is right. they? You don't need to know that. You were, you were expecting us? They were expecting you. I thought it was bullshit. Apparently it's not. Who? I'm so I'm confused. Who's they? Who, who's they is expecting us? I, I just told you. It's confidential. And what's going on? Send us back to fix this. Yeah, that's what I've been told to do. Hang on a minute. Uh, and he kind of like reaches out to his desk and pulls out a box um, that d doesn't seem too dissimilar from the box you had, Rebus. Um, right. I'm ah, box! Here. You could put shoes in that, you know. Yeah, yeah, probably. Speaking of the shoe boxes, don't you have one of those, Rebus? I mean, I have a box about the same size as that, but. Is that a heavy box? Yeah, it's about 20 pounds. 50 pounds, I'm not sure. We don't mm. tend to weigh things anymore. Um, do we feel comfortable sharing our box with this gentleman? No. I don't see I why mean, not. Maybe this is the guy we're supposed to give it to? I don't know. Well, hang on, no, because that was a long time ago, right? Because that was in a different time period, and I don't think we'd have been delivering it to to across time, would we? At this point, I'm ready to throw it in the bloody ditch. <laughs> Look, we have to deliver the box. It's important. I don't want to deliver it to just any old person, but if do we think this is related, perhaps we could do a comparison of boxes, but, you know... We don't even know this man's name yet. No, we don't. Sorry about the dog. Somebody came from the boat. Yeah, you What's don't your need name? to know it. You don't need to know it. It's only going to cause issues. Are you... The more you know Are you it, the, more expecting... the less stable it becomes. Are you All expecting right. us to have a similar box? You have the same box? A similar box? We have a box. Um... Yeah. Yeah, Revis is going to pull the box out of his backpack, but kind of yeah. just sort of place it on his lap so he's not putting it on the table. Can I have a look at it? Um, consensus. Okay. Go for it. It's up to you. No, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with everyone's opinions. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know that we want to give it away. Um, I mean, we're not giving it to you, but I guess you can have a look at it. This We've been charged to deliver this. 
Um, so, you know, be careful with it. And uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I'll put it on the table for you. Yeah, he pulls it towards him and kind of like lowers it beneath the table just so he can see it. And you see him kind of open it and his eyes raise. And then he quickly closes it and hands it back. Make sure that gets where it belongs. And don't open Yeah, that's it. the plan. We have no idea where that goes, by the way. Well, that's, that's the cabin back uh, east of here. Should be along a dirt path, and when you get there, it'll typically be dark. Uh, anyway, uh, I need, I'm supposed to send you guys back. And he, he opens his box, kind of very, very carefully, making sure you guys can't see. Um, and uh, he seems to like press a few things. And then holds out like five discs for each of you. Uh, I need you to just insert this uh, into your mouth. Don't swallow anything. Just hold it in your mouth. <laughs> what she said. Um, <laughs> what's it made of? It's a it's a tracking material. It's to make sure you end up where you go. Hey, as long as it's not lead. No. He holds them out. There's five of them. Who's taken? Yeah, well, I take one. So, um, sorry, I'm not used to just taking things from a man and sticking them in my mouth. Um, this is sorry. This is gonna get us to where we're supposed to be, right? This will send you home. If you don't want to go All home, right. you feel free to stay here. This shit all. Um, nothing here. No, like... no, that's fine. Alright. <laughs> Hands on to you. Uh, Rivas is gonna put it on his tongue. Rose, Rose, make sure Zilly doesn't swallow it. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> I'll think Zilly can... Yeah. Open. Zilly opens her mouth and you can see she's slinking with a way to swallow it without getting in trouble. Uh, I'll... Uh, Zilly... About to put it in my mouth and pull it away. Put a finger up. No, no swallowing. Don't swallow. If you swallow, then no cake. I get cake? I only have had cake once before. If you don't swallow, if you don't swallow it, then when we're in the city, I'll buy you a cake. Zui obediently shuts her mouth, and you can see she is not swallowing it, and nods obediently. Good. Do no, I get cake too? You already had some of my cake. I might want an extra slice. <laughs> you can't have the cake and eat it too, Rivers. That's the whole point of having a cake, is to eat it, otherwise you're just going to look at it. Good cake to look at. Decorated very well. Anyway, can we go on with this? Ah, Lauren? I wasn't talking about you, I was talking about the actual cake. How oh, well. Well, we were talking about my cake, so. You have cake? As everybody. <laughs> As we yes. discuss cake at length. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put the disc in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in my mouth too. I won. Yeah, yep. I do. I follow. Okay. Uh, as he does this, he kind of like nods and then looks back down and it seems to mess around with a few things. Uh, it looks a bit cute. You're going to feel a slight dropping sensation as you all feel like you've just suddenly leant too far back on a stool and fall like into some sort of portal as everything goes black. Okay, I have feather falling. And uh, hang on. And 
Um, you all kind of um, appear, and as you kind of drop to the floor, you notice that in front of you is this uh, this stone ball that's kind of just hobbling in place. Ugh. Huh. That wasn't pleasant. You have quite a bit of taste in your mouth, and your mouth is really dry as well. Do we still have the discs in our mouth? No, they're gone. Hey look, it's um, that spear thing again. Okay guys, I vote we ignore the mansion and just go back to the camp. All in favour? Well, we're supposed to deal with the haunted. What if we go back and just deal with that guy? Why don't we just lie? And say it's not wanted. Well, we can tell a lie and slash truth. Just tell him that it's just a dude, a homeless dude. But that was in the future. We don't know what's happened now. Yeah, I think we should go back. I think we should just go the... Well, at least we know that the cabin that we left is uh, the right place to be. That is true. Um, I'm going to grab my... Uh, water skin and uh, drink some of the water to wet my whistle. Um, Same. Yeah. Should we... I feel like obliged to maybe put some more stuff in this thing because maybe it'll get back to that guy because he just kind of got us back here so as a I mean, thanks we could like put stuff back here and maybe it'll get to him. He might not exist anymore. Well, of course he exists. He just sent us back. Yes, but then that means the world will end, if that's certain. And we're trying to stop that from happening. Maybe the world ended because we weren't there anymore, but now that we are back... It wait. corrected, so that means that guy might not be there again. But we are definitely back in our time, right? Well, no, because if... Look at the sun. If that didn't happen, then he wouldn't have been there to send us back in the first place. So clearly he's there, otherwise we wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to send us back. Maybe time just... Maybe we should just go uh, sit down somewhere. Unless this whole haunted mansion thing was a whole trap to make sure that we didn't solve the problem with these rifts or purple cracks, whatever. So then the people that are causing them won, but now that we were sent back, we win. My head yeah. feels funny. <laughs> you might need some, um, might need to have a wee drink out of your water skin. Blood skin. Could be that too. <laughs> I always, I didn't, didn't Erasmus press to digitate it and clean it? That feels like such a long time ago. She's probably filled out with something else disgusting. <laughs> no, it was after that, wasn't it? I don't I even know at this point. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just water now. She's probably been using it as a privy or something, so it's full of poop or something. Silly <laughs> wouldn't do that. Silly's more <laughs> I don't know. If Silly was raised by wolves, I think she would go into the woods and bury it more than two in a water skin. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm pretty sure water. didn't she like shit on an, on on a um on a countertop or something? Yep. Yeah. Because I'm I'm pretty sure that that um Revis made the argument that most animals do kind of like bury their turds. <laughs> she just kind of like <laughs> planted a nice little steaming pile of love um across somebody's countertop. It might have even been the Gertrudes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been. I can't remember. Yeah, it was somewhere. I, I feel like I feel like we've had yeah. that conversation. Been... So think... shit. I'm sure. What, yeah. Wasn't it at the fancy restaurant? Maybe. No, no, I don't think it was. I don't know. Was... It was somewhere. <laughs> I think we should go back and see if the first guy was there that ran around in the sheep. He was an old guy, wasn't he? Um, could do, I mean, I suppose one of the big questions is, do do we know when we are? Isn't humans 
just down this path. Maybe we can ask him. I still think we should at least deliver that parcel to the cabin on the way back then, if we're going back to... I, I think we should deliver the parcel, but I I feel like we should do the, the haunted thing too. I mean, you know, it's easy money. I mean, we can go in there, kill any wee ghosties, pick up the ectoplasm, and hey presto, if, you know. Could kill a um, guy and steal a sheet. That counts, right? Kill that guy? What guy are you talking about? There's no guy with a sheet. There was that guy from the future. He didn't have a sheet on him. He had a crossbow and a blade. Just remember, every time you lost, every time you touched the door, you did lose your memories. Yeah, I think I keep forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we could. Well, I suppose we could double back slightly and maybe check out the um, the cabin again. I guess if you wanted me to leave the box there. It seemed like that was important, so yeah, maybe we should do that first. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that mansion scared me. Looking at Warren, are his eyes glowing again? Yeah, his eye is now glowing again. Ah. Uh, your eyes uh, look normal again, Warren, just so as you know. Yeah, it, it, it felt like they were back to normal. Ah, cool. Uh, before we go though, hang on a second, I just need to quickly go over to the forest again. Oh no, he's left to get more trees. <laughs> I do want to grab another tree. <laughs> so, yeah, Rivas wants to grab one more tree and um, throw it into the... Um, into the stone. Okay. Uh, this time when you do it, it bounces off. Ah! Oh, we broke it! What did you do, Rebus? Oh, well. I was trying to feed it more trees, but it didn't work. Hey, what do you mean, feed it more trees? Oh, he threw a couple of trees in before. This is the first time I've seen a stone, so... Oh, this is the thing that oh, sucked yeah, off that Oh, yeah, this is the stone you were telling me about. It, it stole my armor. And my sword. And my sword. Yeah. Oh. Did but it wasn't. It, to be very, um, it doesn't appear to be very sucking now. But... Is it still like? I'm gonna pick up the stone and look under it for her armor. It is floating. Uh, it's floating. Yeah. 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 Oh. oh, I'm still gonna look under it, like on the floor. Giant rat, kill it. Ah! Run away! <laughs> yeah. Kill it to run away. Uh, yeah, there's nothing under it. Just air. Run away! So, as you guys are standing there, you hear some thumping and a small little rat is running down the road towards you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball. Uh, um. Yeah, I think that would be a pretty good spot to leave it if you guys want to. Yeah, sounds it's good. Nine. So. Yeah. I appreciate fine. that people probably need to go. Well, that was very, very, very cool. That was a extremely innovative and um, unusual idea. I really enjoyed that. That was that very, good, yeah. very, very cool and trippy. And apologies to Warren and Elwin for playing stupid. <laughs> no, it was fine. But um, I felt like it was in character. <laughs> yeah, I think I sort of broke the rules a little bit. No, not at all. No, I think um, I think I, I felt like the DM gave us the option in terms of whether we chose to retain our lingering memories of deja vu or not, and Revis decided. Yeah. Yeah, like, I kind of got. We just got that back there. That would be like a lingering sort of feeling that this has happened before, and that was what I took from it. So. 
Yeah. I, well, I like that we took different takes on it because it was funny. <laughs> so. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, thank you very much, DM. That was a yeah, wonderful yeah. session. Um, thank you for really, that. Really, really clever. Yeah. yeah that was good. Yeah, yeah, I did love that. That was so cool. Jealous. Very, oh, very confused. Was spider. spider was awesome. It's a shift spider. Phase yep. spider, sorry, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't very awesome for me. Yeah, I didn't want to fight this spider. That's why I sent it into the future. Yeah, I was I was good. ready for it. <clears throat> it was all ready. Well, it undid the enlarged giant gorilla. That's true. Was, so it's like, oh, I think it's an awesome Godzilla style fight. You know I mean? <laughs> it would be it would more be like a normal sized human squishing a huntsman or something. <laughs> yeah, it'd be still funny though. <laughs> To be honest, the polymorph spell would be better if I turned one of you into a giant ape next time, I think. Yeah. Turn uh, potentially. into a giant ape. That's how that works, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how get, polymorph works. We should, get, um, we should teach Rose and Elwyn the enlarge spell as well. So we get three lots of enlarge on a giant ape on Greaves. <laughs> Uh, spells don't stack like that, so you can't oh. cast in large reduce twice on the same person. Yeah. That's a shame. Oh, yeah, close enough to God War, Gargantuan 8. It is, but it's it's a reasonable level of balance, because otherwise you could, like, hypothetically oh. you could cast in large reduce on a small creature twice and turn it from a tiny creature into a nothing creature, because it's too small. So... Yeah, it's, it's there's some balance there. I mean, that would be funny though. <laughs> oh god, it'd be hilarious. Yeah, but. <laughs> oh. Well, if that if, if uh, that did work, then I'd have a plan for Zilly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there will be a custom spell that doubles it, pass it to the next person. Yeah, my spell yeah, is power good. word delete. It works a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> I use power word delete on the DM. Uh, I That's use DM counterspell and it happens on the campaign. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> no more campaign. I like the campaign. Yeah, the campaign's good. Yeah. Really cool. Wouldn't mind a short rest now. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've spent more and more resources. You can take a short rest now if you want. Um, so you take a short rest at, um, just before we ended the session if you want. If everybody agrees that they gonna... want to do that. I think we're almost going to need a long rest soon. Yeah, to like allowance spells. Like sure. Uh, All right. We can we can carry on for a bit and then we'll I guess we'll sort out a long rest uh, in a bit yeah. at some point we in can, the campaign. We can long rest at that point. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, and then we can go get you cured. Get me, make me well. Yeah, we've got this ever-growing list of things that we need to do. Oh, it's getting bigger and bigger, and we just don't seem to get anywhere with it. Well, um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to try and justify that, and it was like, yeah, no, we're, we're too busy having fun dicking around. <laughs> I was just going to mix some, like, mayonnaise and mud in a jar and just tell people they take the puzzle. <laughs> Where did you get the mayonnaise from? Oh, I'll figure it out. Uh, I mean, if you if you have an alchemy jug, then you can. Yeah, <laughs> the mayonnaise chicken. It doesn't it doesn't produce eggs. It just produces whole jars of Hellman's mayonnaise. I I feel like it should it should produce an egg, but then when you crack the egg, it's just mayonnaise inside. Yeah, a Hellman's <laughs> wired egg. Yeah. Because that's not remotely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm sorry to leave first, but I better get going. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, ditto. Yeah, thanks, silly. Yeah, yeah. thanks, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Yeah, Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.